Hey everybody, welcome back to Master of Magic. When we last left off, I was taking over the world with dragon turtles, and it was going pretty well. I was I was playing with blue magic for a change. Blue magic blue magic and lizard people as the the blue raven. I I chose the character Raven uh for a change. And uh yeah, it just is an interesting challenge for myself because I rarely use blue. And I'm almost always using that uh, Earth Lore spell, the, sp the green spell that lets you see everything. And uh, yeah, this has been, although I'm only playing on hard instead of impossible, it's still still been a lot of fun. So, we, we managed to beat one wizard so far. We took a lot of difficulty to defeat Lopan. There is four enemy wizards out there. We have shattered one gem, so there are three wizards remaining. We'll see if we can defeat them. And I, as the lizard men and with these nagas, all my units can like move over the ocean. We can move over water. So uh, now that I have I've conquered an island empire, I am an island empire, and all my units can move over the sea. We are very much going to act like Viking raiders and just uh, start exploring and raiding and pillaging, and then there will be uh, great many happy days full of loot and honor. And, uh, Valhalla worthy glorious acts, or something like that. And we have tons of halfling villages. Lopan had halfling villages, which will provide the food for the empire of dragon turtles that will be uh, trained by our, our lizard men. So this will be very good. Uh, I was not taking very good care of my new empire, because... Well, I was acting like Viking raiders, and Vikings don't really take places, they just raid them. But we, we conquered Lopan, so now I actually have to protect the cities that I have taken. So let's start building defenses. And, uh, yes. So, by, yeah, one unit of Spearman will be good here. Go to Builder's Hall, hopefully one unit of Spearman will be good. And while I'm at it... Mm, we're building a granary here, should you build, like, sp Hopefully, no one will come from the ocean and attack the city. The granary will help growth. This town has a freaking cathedral. It's making me mana, but it's costing me money. And what's defending it? Just a unit of slingers. We're gonna make that two slingers, because I don't want to lose this city. And I don't think I was protecting my capital enough either, really. I was taking a lot of risks with that, but... Uh, that's... That's often how I play this game, is just very risky behavior and taking big gambles and things. Because that's what you gotta do on the harder difficulties to win. And sometimes you're gonna lose taking big risks too, but that's... That's 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 what happens. That's... You're gonna have to lose a lot of times to actually win on Impossible. But, well, you get better and you start winning more regularly, but it... it it, it's it, it's knowing when you can take these risks with like you're defending your capital not enough and whatnot because sometimes random well okay if random monsters take your capital you're actually boned so I really need to start defending my capital a bit better but as far as other towns are concerned they just get raided by random monsters all right so we're building a marketplace here <laughs> it's still pretty bad we have two dragon turtles protecting this town. Ah, they're getting healed, that's why. Alright, alright, good. This is this all meets my approval. And we are summoning a storm giant, so that's on the way. We're making four extra food with all these all these halflings. Because halflings just generate tons of food. Can we make more halflings work? Oh, you're doing trade goods. You should probably produce some slingers, because slingers are amazing. What I love about halflings is that they're lucky, and the slingers just have a lot of figures in each unit, as I discussed before, how figures are just awesome. If you weren't here from that discussion, more figures in a unit makes it awesome. That's basically it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully thrive and flourish. Let's move on to the next turn. Now, one of the issues with summoning the Storm Giant is that 
he does not walk on water. So I will need to summon a floating island for him. And probably for him exclusively. But maybe I'll get other units that don't move on the water. And the upkeep for the floating island is very high. So I might just unsummon it after I have him cross. So uh, th this is very interesting. There's a tower to the Mirian world, the other plane of existence. A whole new world is open and available to go through in this tower. And that whole new world is scary and is interesting. It is entirely on an island. So whoever, there's probably like a wizard on this island, on this plane of existence, who opened up this tower and cannot exploit it because it's entirely in the water. This is interesting. Hmm, what do I do? Do I stick here and search for that wizard that unlocked this tower? Because there might have been good defenders. Or do I just pop through the portal and start exploring this new world and start sailing the sea of possibilities? Then again, the Mirian world is dangerous. I'll start looking for the wizard on this side of the world. I gotta be powerful and ready. As tempting as it is to just start exploring through this portal to this Mirian world that is more difficult. It will probably take a while. If, if the Dragon Toidal wasn't like the mainstay of my army, it'd be different if I wasn't like sending a main battle tank out to like e explore. If it was like one of my Nagas, maybe. Oh, it's the green. Hamlet of Nymax? Oh, it's... <laughs> right, that's the town's name. I am Nymax! Wait, it's Merlin. All right. Hail, glorious Blue Raven. I, Merlin, bear greetings. Oh, well, I admire your your gray, large beardedness and your uh, generally pleasant demeanor right now, Merlin. Although we've had a lot of we've had a lot of sparks in the past. Right, of course you don't you don't do blue. I forgot. Although it's been a while, so I, I forget what Merlin was white and you were a combination though. You were white and something else, right? White and green, I think you did. I don't know. Your, your robes are blue, but your books are not, so we can't exchange spells. That's a shame. Don't get all tense with me. Do you want to have, like, a wizard pack for now? Nope. Alright. Well, I'm not going to bribe you for it. It's not my style. So, I'll just be sailing around with my dragon turtle. And if I find your capital, I might murder you. If it's poorly defended. Uh, although... Pretend I didn't say that, <laughs> that second part. Alright, so I should... There's a neutral town over here. I should raid that neutral town, because it has no consequences. Uh, of... of I, I've... Well... Unless I... Unless it beats the crap out of me. Unless its defenses are really powerful, but like... Neutral towns really ramp up, I know. Okay, so we got two slingers here. We should stop the production of slingers. We got enough slingers now. Problem is, I'm maintaining a lot more armies, defending a lot of places now. But those slingers are really, really good at what they do. I probably should just do, like, Spearmen if I don't want people to rebel, though. Also, this town is producing three food, but doesn't have three people garrisoned here. I generally want, like, the food production to match the garrison in case I'm, if I lose a city... If I lose this city and this three food production, then I'll lose three units elsewhere because we haven't saved up three food. Okay, so yeah, there's a weird shell game with the food that's going on that I'm a little concerned about because, like, dragon turtles could starve. Like, imagine we lose that town and three dragon turtles starve. That would be terrible. Harkin Blue Raven, the magnificent, illustrious, and all-powerful Merlin has arrived. Yes, we, we, we just talked earlier. I mean, I... I kind of inter I, I, inter I intercepted that message. I got to him before he gave me the greetings message, but like, why, why are you acting like you don't know me, dog? <laughs> we just talked. I asked for the wizard pact and everything. So, yeah, another dragon turtle is on its way. That is good news. It's kind of a shame exploring with dragon turtles. <laughs> But these things must be done. So this city has pretty good defenses. I could start producing extra food from here. And feel fairly safe about it. Alright, 
Alright, the Storm Giant's coming along nicely. I'm producing plenty. I have, I have a large supply of cash and a large supply of mana. I generally like to put all my power into the fantastic creatures, but these turtles are pretty freaking amazing, I gotta say. So I could consider enchanting them. Do I have any cool enchantments? Just Guardian Wind. Which is nice, but turtles are really tough anyways. One man at a turn. Yeah, I might, I might throw some Guardian Wind on some of my more elite of the turtles. The Conjunction of Chaos has ended. There's always a lot of fanfare. A lots of fanfare for a thing I don't care about. Dun 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 dun. Alright. Ooh! I do care about these diamonds in the desert. Or gems. That's pretty cool. Someone were to settle there. Should be a little careful with my dragon turtles going around. Playing in the sand. Maybe... Maybe we should go... This would be a good place to lay giant turtle eggs. Nice sandy area. Next to the ocean. Sort of a beach. Have giant little babies. Hmm. I probably should do something with this town besides trade goods? Or should I? Well, these upgrades will also increase the maintenance greatly. But your troops could have magical weapons and generate plus three mana. Or just three gold a turn. Three gold for three mana. That's like a straight up trade, actually, when I think about that. Yeah, give me an Animus Guild. Alright, we'll take, we'll take the Animus Guild. Takes a long time to build. But I will take the Animus Guild. I can justify this. Alright, we got a marketplace. Awesome. Let's see. The farmer's market is always cool, and the the growth. The growth potential of the farmer's market makes it worth the money, in my opinion. I've only got one spearman defending this town, but I feel like that town's less likely to be raided than like Lopan's Island. I don't know what kind of defenses this neutral town has, but I don't think it will be enough. These Clackons won't have enough to stop these, my, my most elite dragon turtles. Hopefully. I can't imagine they will. Unless, I mean, they, they probably have some halberd ears. Well, that'll be, that'll be pretty tough. Does the, I forget if the fire breath, like... I don't think it pierces defense or anything, it just goes first. Just goes, just, just goes first, which is pretty cool. And it's up to seven now. Now that they're all elite and stuff. Now there is kind of a thing about like... You generally only want to engage in this game. Well, one, you only want to engage if you're winning. But two, you generally want to fight with your units in one giant stack because that way it's easier to defend yourself if you're attacked as well caught off guard or just to, to keep the enemy wizard from killing your units with spells because he probably won't have enough mana to wipe out all eight units with his spells even if you engage get engaged multiple times because like they'll throw attack spells at you and engage you multiple times and like, the enemy wizards will have tons of mana, so... They can actually just, like, wheedle you down by just, like, hitting you with combat spells and engaging you again and again with singular units. So just to prevent that kind of thing from happening, it's better to move in stacks. Storm Giant's coming along. Feels strange using a dragon turtle to scout, but certainly works. Just four swordsmen. Okay. Then uh, the dragon turtles will feed. The dragon turtles. The dragon turtles. I could... I'm almost tempted to turn this on auto. But auto... Probably will get my dragon turtles wounded more than I want. Yeah, 
Yeah, this this dragon turtle's ready to fight. It's in mint condition. I'll just let let that unwounded dragon turtle take most of the fighting. I said let let, let the unwounded one fight. This is a lower ranking dragon turtle, but it just kicked butt. It just had good rolls, and it didn't take any damage. All right, so we got ourselves a town, ourselves a town on this, on this new continent to the south. We have Clackon, so we could get stag beetles. We could get stag beetles and dragon turtles at the same time. Oh, my dream could come true of having the two giant fire-breathing creatures together in one. In harmony. We must we must make this happen. Even though it's not feasible. Because I've already got dragon turtles coming out, and it, it wouldn't make a lot of sense, but somehow it'd make me happy to have the two giant mammoth fire breathers together on one team. So I do want to make this happen. Let us let us foster let us improve and foster this village into a place that can protect itself with with stag beetles. We'll have a giant fire breathing. We'll have a guy riding a giant fire breathing creature for every occasion. Hmm. Uh, 225 gold to buy a dragon turtle. That's not cheap. I would rather, rather turn that into some sort of mythical creature. All right, there's our storm giant. Looking cool and ready to fight. With his cool... With his really intimidating music. Now, I could just have him hang out at home, because we do... It does make me nervous. We do need to have, like, something... The next dragon turtle will stay home, okay? <laughs> I, I am... I am playing with fire. I'm doing some risky business. Like, moving too many units out. But... We do have people moving in all directions. So, the likelihood of something coming at us... We do have a lot of scouting information, so the likelihood of us getting surprise attacked is less. It's minimized, at least, one might say. But it, it's within the realm of possibility that a random creature could just come and end my game in, in failure. So, that sort of Damocles is looming over my head. Not exactly crazy about that. But like I said, these are the corners I'm gonna cut to help me win the to help me win the game. Although I realize that like the halfling, some there's some halfling villages that now have two slingers that are now more well defended than my capital, which is a very questionable decision. Like I said, they will fund they will fund my the food from my empire. So what did I just do? Oh no, no okay, <laughs> I right clicked and the floating island disappeared. But the floating island acts weird, where like. It's like part of the terrain where you don't see it if you're far away or something, but it's one of my units so I control it. I don't know. Floating island, go! Well, where exactly are we going with this? Uh, hmm. So, okay. There's all that whatnot over here. All those phantom beasts and phantom warriors. And I would like to take this blue node, but I'm going to have to, like, wear it down. I'm going to have to fight them. And those, all those phantom creatures just don't care about defense. But what I'm thinking is, this guy's lightning bolts would do a pretty good job of taking out a fair amount of them. But then he probably would get killed. Oh, but the dragon turtles are like one of the worst things to send at them, except for they're fire breathing. Hmm. We could make it work. We'd probably have to sacrifice, there's probably some sacrifices that will have to be made to take this blue node. It won't be without casualties, but we'll get more mana. Would that be worth it rather than going for Merlin? Way over there, unless, is it easier to go the other way around? It is easier to go the other way around at this point. I realize. <laughs> hmm. All right, so if I launch my guys in this direction, then really I'm kind of aiming. Or is it easier? Which way is shorter? At this point. I guess it's about the same, really. Either way. We're about, like, the furthest point in away in the world. From Merlin. 
That's kind of disappointing. Hmm. I'm thinking I want to have a go at this node, maybe. The Nagas do get first strike and poison. That could kind of work out. Okay, there's a nature node here. My dragon turtles do not want to mess with that. But maybe future generations might. Oh, there's a road here! Interesting. Will it lead to more neutral towns? That's... Ooh, more neutral towns. That's exactly what I want. Okay, more clackons. More stag beetle dreams being... Being fulfilled. Hmm. I guess we'll start splitting up the force and start exploring. Okay, so we got one group of slingers here. I'll take some spearmen to back them up. Just that simple stuff that I don't have to pay. They just work for food. The thing that the halflings make tons of anyways. Ooh. Oh! Huh. What if a dragon turtle were to attack this giant naval force? It would probably end very poorly for him. Okay. Actually, now that I think about it, let's not do that. And we'll, we, we trigger... Merlin and I don't want to do that until I know until I know where his capital is so I can strike at his heart and murder him oh oh we're getting a new spell it is in fact dispel the spell that unspells other spells which can be fun later on uh ooh banish is a nifty one if I'm dealing with nasty summoned creatures enchant road would be neat if I was not an island empire and roads were basically not a thing for me I wonder if flight works on a giant. I think blur is a combat enchantment. It's basic. Yeah, I use it on my own units so I don't have to worry about it failing as much, I guess. I'm gonna go with that one. The one that, like, prevents you from getting stabbed. It's, hey, look at me. It's a little bit hard to look at me, isn't it? It's because I'm all blurry. Bet you can't stab me. Ah, oh, you did. Oh, but I bet you're 10% like, less likely to stab me again. Oh, 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 you did anyways. Well, that was a wasted spell. It's a good spell. It, it, sometimes you don't get stabbed. It's pretty cool. But <laughs> oftentimes it's true. Like, it doesn't, like, it's, it's just 10% less likely to be stabbed, wasn't it? Well, although 10% less likely is, applies to every single, like, attack... There's, like, lots of attacks in the combat, so it it does add up. These little things add up, but it's... I am making light of it. It's like, when I think about it, that's not... That doesn't sound like a very good spell. But I just... Merlin has a lot of stuff. I'm glad I'm taking... Uh, yeah, I'm taking all these neutral villages... It will be very important. And I apologize for sitting back a bit. I was, I'm sure I was sounding a little bit distant there. Alright. These are halberdiers, so they could be a bit... These could be a bit nastier. They've got good defense and attack. Clackon Halberdiers are pretty famous for their early game prowess. In fact, they did just deal some damage without taking any damage there, which was impressive. They can counter for a strike. Or no, they can't for... Most... That's interesting. Most... I think most Halberdiers negate for a strike, don't they? But not Clackon Halberdiers? Okay, but they're just really tough. Like, six defense. That is a lot for typical troops. But Dragon Turtles have a mighty 9 defense, which is absolutely ridiculous. Do we want to raise the city? No. We will not raise the roof. We will not set the roofs on fire. Not today. As fun as it, as it would be. Alright, keep that turtle around. Now, what, what do these turtles cost again? Two food, two gold, one food. Okay. Could be worse. And it's kind of surprising, but like, and all units take one food. Even if they're a giant dragon turtle. Then you need to consistently feed. 
I mean, it is it is as much food as a small army, so I guess it's fair. So I'm still generating five mana a turn. I could get some more Nagas. I could do a Magic Spirit in hope that I'm going to take that node soon. Yeah, just more Nagas. I think more Nagas would be the best thing to do. Start pumping them out. Okay, did I have good resources nearby to... No, no, don't build the Miner's Guild. I was verifying whether or not the Miner's Guild is a good idea. We'll have to... Which city was that? We'll have to take another look at that. It was this big city? No, which... Did, did I start the Miner's Guild? Maybe I didn't start the Miner's Guild. I didn't start my, the Miner's Guild. Okay, good. Yeah, just build housing. Get more halflings. More, let, let there be even more halflings than there already are. Okay, so, here's a question. Do I want to move in with this force just to stop paying the the maintenance on the giant? Because the giant comes with giant maintenance. Hmm. I could throw some spells at the node, and the spells will get through. What kind of spells can I throw at the node again? Just like combat spells. Right. Call the apprentice! Call the apprentice! The Apprentice says that the combat spells you know are Confusion, Psionic Blast, and that's about it. Oh, I can summon my own! I can summon my own Phantom Warriors, right? Yeah! Oh, that'll that'll even things up. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just keep going in repeatedly. Let's do this. I'll keep going in repeatedly, and I'll keep throwing in Phantom Warriors, because I've just got the mana for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm basically sacrificing my giant and this turtle to see how much damage they can do. Because if they can kill any of them, it will, they'll be gone. And we can summon our own. Or our own Phantom Beast, even. Hmm. Which would be better? Summoning three Phantom Warriors or one Phantom Beast? Well, we can take a look at the battlefield and get an idea. A Phantom Beast comes with, the, like, tw yeah, 20 health. And a lot of other cool stats. The Phantom Warriors have one health. Six figures, so they technically have six health and two armor? Why is that? Don't they typically not have armor? I think they've got, like, a bonus here. Is it because of the node? Everything has a bonus. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, the Phantom Beast has the armor, too. Because usually they've got none. Plus one to hit. Okay, so... Imagine that. They have six health, and I get three of them. So, a total of, like, 16 health. Technically, the Phantom Warriors, for the, across the three summons, would have more health. But as far as the melee capability, since they have multiple figures, it's hard to say. It's hard to say which one would be better overall. I, I just really like me, my Phantom Warriors. Should I? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's see how well the Phantom Warriors do against the Phantom Beast. Go for it! The Phantom Warriors nearly took half of a Phantom Beast. Impressive stuff, guys. Alright. Then we'll throw a Lightning Bolt at him. That's good. Not quite as good as I was hoping. Hmm, these Phantom Beasts are gonna be rough. Phantom Warriors come to save the day. Phantom Warriors. Uh, Phantom Beast, I hope you will slay. Phantom Warriors were less effective than they were the first time, but she still managed to kill one Phantom Beast. Uh, bad news. There's several Phantom Beasts to go. Oh, there goes the giant. Ooh, this might not have been a good idea, methinks. Or I should have come with a stronger... They're gonna split up my damage amongst multiple units. Ooh, I dealt serious damage to that Phantom Beast. At least I can take... I took that Phantom Beast with me. We managed to take two Phantom Beasts with us. That is something. I can kind of hang my hat on that. Ooh, okay. Ouch. Uh... Hopefully Nagas will do better. Hmm, I started throwing some forces at that. We killed two Phantom Beasts. There's three Phantom Beasts and a bunch more Phantom Warriors remaining. We can take them out. Exactly how much income will I get from this? I usually remember not caring too much about nodes. Because on the harder difficulties, their guardians make them basically not worth messing with most of the time. But I'm just, I'm just thinking that like they don't have good defenses. Goodbye, Floating Island. You are no longer necessary because I... 
God, my storm giant killed very quickly again. Hmm. I was really hoping to do more with these storm giants, but at the same time, I'm not paying that maintenance anymore. And he was well used, so it's better than not using the storm giant. We'll put it that way. He might not have been a storm giant used, well used, but he was a storm giant that was, well, he was used. He did, he did, I did, at least I used him. Ooh, these guys actually, these swordsmen actually managed to do a lot of damage. They got some good rolls. I'm impressed. Alright, so we've got a string, a whole string of Clacon cities here. This is beautiful. Ah, uh, and then a Barbarian city, only protected by three spearmen. Well, I only have one Dragon Turtle. Go, Dragon Turtle, go! You can do it. I believe in you. Barbarian spearmen have the ability to throw things. But otherwise, they're not so tough. And they, and they grow quickly, too, so... That's another race under our rule. We have a variety of races now. Which gives us an interesting amount of potential. I am making too much food. I should stop that. Stop making so much food. That is a waste. Maybe a little extra food just in case. I don't know, if I lose some food production somewhere. I guess that might not be a dumb idea entirely. Oh, this place is producing extra food naturally. Okay, well, there might not be anything we can do about some of this food. Nagas have been summoned, all right. Could you go and stab some illusionary jerks? Then again, we want to, like, build up a winning force, maybe. But every time I every time I engage that blue node, hmm, I could pester it with just some some, uh, some spearmen, some halfling spearmen actually. Hey, you know, halfling spearmen, could you go over there and just be a thing for me to, like, just like just be a point for me to summon more phantom warriors? Because if I can send more waves of phantom warriors at it, I can eventually kill it. And so the spearmen will show up, and I can use them to use my skill to, like, throw a bunch of mana at it. Now, the distance, I'll, I'll be paying a premium for the distance. But I think it'll be worth it. Right, uh, we're getting some unrest. We need to produce some spearmen for these, these towns. All these towns that we've taken. Because I do actually want to protect and properly own these these villages sadly the road has run out so no more neutral villages on this particular string this particular chain of civilization it, we reached the end of that so that's like a neutral island this island firmly is uh, Merlin's could the other two wizards both be in the Mirian realm? I think we have two Mirian opponents, which is interesting. Alright, Farmer's Market. That's cool. I guess we could have another city that's pumping out dragon turtles. That'd be pretty cool. Let us shoot for that, but maybe not shoot for it too quickly. Uh, I guess... Well, no, let's, yeah, let's go for those tables. Alright, we got ourselves a granary here. Beautiful. Get a smithy. Or Oh, this is a halfling city. Oh, you need spearmen. You need spearmen. Alright. Just continue slowly exploring with my nagas. Because I don't have a better means of exploring. Really, map information makes... Having map information makes such a difference. So, like, having flyers... It's one of the reasons why I end up relying on either flyers 
for scouting magic in this game is because information is definitely power in this game when fighting against AI and exploiting exploiting the flaws of the AI, taking neutral cities, and just exploiting the dungeons and other resources. You just if you know what's on the map, you know what you can exploit and what to go for. Suddenly you can start setting goals properly. Yeah, we'll get a smithy. That's just good for growth. And have this guy patrol. And I guess that's enough spearmen for this town. Go back to housing, I suppose. Or is this... The city isn't at max size yet. I forget what maximum size. There wasn't maximum size for cities. But yeah, just hold position. No, go over there. Go over there and keep... Operation Pester... Well, actually, we could also use Slingers on... On... The Slingers would be quite effective on the Phantom Warriors as well. Actually, dispatch the Slingers! Dispatch the Garrisons! The halflings! The halflings will take this for us. We will muster these forces. Everything will be okay, I swear. <laughs> now I'm starting to like this plan, and we discovered another neutral town with our... with our dragon turtles. Alright. Keep wanting to set him on auto, but that is folly. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. My game is not happy, and I don't know why. That's like... Eee. Okay, that's a very unpleasant sound. How do we... How do we... I'm afraid I'm about to save the game to just clear this unpleasant sound. What is happening? DOS box? Hang on, I'll be back. Alright, we're back after that weird sound emulation issue. And, uh, let's see. So it has me... I think I was focused on something else, but it has me focused on these Nagas. I'm pretty sure we're... yeah, exactly where we were, so... Yeah, that was that was quite strange. Ah, yes. So our Naga... Our, our Dragon Turtles were still going along the coasts. I think we had just taken a neutral town, right? I probably want to do something with that. Yeah, we just took a brand new neut neutral village that we happened to discover on a brand new road with more Clackon villages. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So the bulldozer has more villages to bulldoze. I'm getting very lucky with my placements. That's, I, I remember that's what I was just getting ready to say before that happened. Uh, this has been some good luck because if I wasn't on an island, I would be getting attacked and I'm not getting attacked right now. I'm just sitting back and attacking other people, which is a very ideal situation to be in. And uh, let's hope that things discontinue this way. All right, go my Nagas. Go, go and destroy those those phantom warriors and phantom beasts help help the halflings nagas and halflings will unite phantom warriors they will fight hooray all right so we have some clackons here one unit of clackon spearmen is better than no cl units of clackon spearmen for defending a town but I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna let the towns defend themselves, these new towns. Uh, are you actually, yeah, ha keep your people on workers. Oh, they were on farmers, yeah, yeah, stay workers. You don't need to make food. We have halflings for that. We have halflings for food. Don't you worry about food. Don't you worry your insect heads about food. There are little people we have that make food come from wee little people across the ocean <laughs> that's that's who makes your food just accept it accept it and just work Ooh, there's a monster lair with no monsters and 50 mana crystals pretty cool it's exactly the type of monster lair 
Ooh, look at that. It's the village of Krufstein. It says the mighty barbarian capital, capital, full of many swordsmen. These swordsmen can throw weapons. And we are a little injured. This could be a difficult thing to deal with with my dragon turtles in their current shape. But I think they can win. Go, my dragon turtles. I will throw some magic at this, maybe, if need be. Although the range is times three, so I will be paying three times the mana cost for any spells I cast. So maybe try to do it on the cheap, you guys. I'm just, I'm, I'm with you. But only if I have to be. Just like a good family member. <laughs> I'm with you. But only if I have to be. <laughs> Ooh, that really hurts. That really hurts. Okay, I just hope they got lucky there, because that really hurt. I think... Yeah, it's got some good... Ooh, this, this dragon turtle's got bad luck. Okay, that other dragon turtle I rolled with twice, or attacked with twice, is now a critical health. Ooh, drat. Oh, and then these guys throw, so they're gonna be really good against my phantom warriors. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so, what can I do? Hmm, I could have gotten, like, guardian wind, maybe, to prevent projectiles. We could try confusion. Okay, maybe these barbarians don't have... Ooh, they're pretty well elite, so they've got some pretty good resistances. Okay, so maybe the less elite swordsmen. Get confused, guys! Yeah, I confused you. You're all confused. You don't know what's what. You don't know left from right or up from down. Now, hopefully, they will... It's... It, there's a chance that, like, a confused unit, I'll be able to... I'll be allowed to control it. And so... Hopefully that will happen. But there's a chance it'll happen every turn. Okay, I tried confusion again. Can't have two miracles in a row. That's a shame. But so I basically have to hold out until the game gives me control of that confused unit. I'm getting bad luck. The they're able to they're, they're acting like they normally do, even though they're confused. That's not... You're supposed to work for me now. Don't you understand? You're confused. You're confused about being confused. You're not doing this right. If you were properly confused... Oh no, I got myself cornered by the confused unit. It's probably gonna attack me. Don't you see? You're confused. You're not doing this right. Oh, oh, the confused unit just stand, stood there. It just stood there. That's one of the things a confused unit can do, is just be dazed. Yeah, be days for days, please. Okay, good. Uh, damn, I'm getting bad luck. <laughs> Both my dragon turtles are in critical condition. And since lots of turns have, like, passed in the city fight, the, like, the city's gonna be, like, it's gonna take serious damage, but I don't care. I'm not losing my elite dragon turtles to this nonsense if I don't have to. Oh, oh, they decided to fight the Confucius. You fools, you fought amongst yourselves. Ha ha, the confusion, you have given into it. All right, now hopefully my dragon turtles can win, but they're in critical condition. So is the enemy, though, so... Yeah, we're fine. Dragon Turtles win! We are one giant unit, and they are just like... They've just got three figures left. If they... I was gonna say, if they kill one of my Dragon Turtles at this point, I'll be very surprised and displeased. Okay. You have gained one fame. Uh, 2,000 inhabitants were killed. That's not so bad, all things considered. And only 42 gold pieces were looted. Or why I say only, four, only 42? That's not bad. 42 gold pieces were looted. Changed my tone on that one. Same message. More pleased tone. Yeah, all right. And this is a pretty big settlement. Let's get some swordsmen to defend. Well, they one gold upkeep. Let's get some spearmen to defend this place. I mean, it's like two gold for a dragon turtle. Like, I'm not gonna do one gold upkeep to protect protect a place. You kidding? All right, and yeah, they just pop out spearmen like no tomorrow. All right, okay, now get yourself a granary. These two dragon turtles are gonna hang out here for a while. Because they are critically wounded. And... I guess we'll produce a little bit more food from this city. 
Even though we could be defending it better. Let's get some more slingers up in this place. The food situation is a bit tight right now. Not gonna lie, has me a bit concerned. <laughs> Like, we're having, we're having to rely a lot on the little people across the ocean. If we lose the little people across the ocean, there's gonna be a famine. I don't, like, I don't like the sound of that. That's... I like, generally, to have my empire to be fairly self-reliant. But when you have such specialized people, it really behooves you to, like, take advantage of it. It's, it's a hard decision, because, like... If you get if you get surprised, it could it could be bad, it could be real bad. All right, so how am I going to go about this? Uh, I got 381 mana crystals. I got two spearmen. We'll do the yeah we'll do the pierce piecemeal spearmen tactic. Okay, so spearmen one goes in. Spearmen one doesn't have a chance. Oh boy, oh boy, we are hosed. They say the little halflings. But luckily, there are Phantom Warriors! Come to save the day. Phantom Warriors. Hopefully, a Phantom Beast they will slay. Phantom Warriors. He did pretty damn good! Phantom Warriors. They're often misunderstood. Oh, Phantom Warriors. Alright. So... We're, the range makes it these spells t cost 1.5 times more expensive. So everything is more expensive right now. But not by much. So this is well worth it. These Phantom Warriors at 6 MP a pop, well worth it. Well worth every mana crystal as I take out a Phantom Beast with just a few Phantom Warriors. Alright. And, uh, we stabbed that other Phantom Beast in the knee. Oh, I could have fled. Maybe I should have fled. Run away! And live to make Phantom Warriors another day. That might not have been a bad idea, because I forgot, like, the odds of running away are better, uh, based on the difficulty setting, so. Hmm. Let's keep doing this. It's an interesting cheese strategy, but it works. And, you know, the enemy does it to you, too. Phantom Warriors, please help me out. That wasn't quite as good of a performance from the Phantom Warriors. Phantom Warriors, you're... You're, you're really dropping the ball this time. I'm gonna give it another shot. You can do it, guys. Ah, you guys stink. I, uh, can the Halfling Spearmen finish it off, or should they flee? Mm, it feels like the Mana Crystals are wasted if you flee. But then again... Just, you can do it, you guys. Ooh, you stabbed him good, but you're halfway dead. You can do it! Oh, they almost did it. You almost slew the beast. Mm. Ooh, that that didn't feel as good. Those That, that Spearmen was wasted. Okay, so what if we send in these slingers and then have them flee like that? <laughs> we could do that, or we could send in both the slingers at the... Hmm, piecemeal. I'm doing things kind of piecemeal. I usually advise against doing things piecemeal, but when you're summoning things repeatedly... ...and fleeing... Huh. Let's, let's take it... Let's try it out. Let's try it out. I'm impatient. Okay. Slam. Take that, Phantom Warriors. Oh, I forgot. I should have summoned my own. Summon some Phantom Warriors. Although I didn't step away. Ooh. Okay, almost took out those other Phantom Warriors, but like, I should be focusing on my attacks. Ooh, oh, and I got demolished. That didn't work. That didn't work. I didn't do things right. I should have. Should have been planning out the enemy's movement better. I didn't think about that. I only injured two things. I'm disappointed. That's okay. That's okay. We can afford to make one or two mistakes. I'm starting to wonder if this node is worth all the trouble. Honestly. It will generate me more spell power and mana and such. 
but I think I'm starting to relearn the reason why I usually don't bother. So, should I actually... I'm actually, like, gathering up my forces now. I thought the plan was to do things piecemeal. I'll do things piecemeal with this... This spearman, for sure. Because he doesn't have the magic weapons. Okay. So then we gotta focus all our power... Maybe I should just summon a phantom beast of my own. It'll be beast on beast action. My beast is better than your beast. Although you have an extra beast. Hmm. You can do it, beastie. I believe in you. Okay, he goes one, two, three steps. Wait, yeah. one, two, three. I'll be waiting for him so I can have, like, this fight completely like the balls in my court. Oh, I didn't think. Wait. Where's it? Was it three steps? I thought it was three steps. Two steps. Oh, there are two steps. Okay, I thought it was three. Okay, so we'll go one, two. Okay, there we go. Alright, now the ball's completely in my court. Beast on beast action, go! Beast on beast action, go! Oh, it's a tie! But, neither beast is dead. Actually, their beast is winning ever, ever so slightly! Which is where Halfling Spearmen come in for the victory stab! Come on, guys. Don't let me down. <laughs> victory stab! Yeah, victory stab! Good job, guys! All right, <laughs> the spearmen, halfling spearmen go in and go, Boop! and the phantom beast has been defeated, and then they are swiftly killed. <laughs> but their sacrifice is not in vain. Sacrifices must be made. We will take this node. Just one spearman at a time. So, okay, that was, that was 21 mana. Versus the 18 mana that the Phantom Warriors use. But the Phantom Warriors have been failing me. I'm gonna try the Phantom Warriors again. See if they can help me defeat the Phantom Beast on the cheap. Because I believe in them. They they've they they have an interesting success to failure ratio. Yeah, they're doing it this time. Alright. They see, tend to succeed more than they fail, but it's it's a bit more dicey, one might say. All right, good job. Okay, there's, we have two Phantom Warriors left over. We spent less mana. We have two Phantom Warriors left over. We might be able to defeat another unit of Phantom Warriors if we're lucky. Let's try it. Nice one. Finish him off. Yeah, good job, guys. All right, uh, now run away. <laughs> run away! Oh, they were killed. Okay. Well, still, they took out a Phantom Beast and one unit of Phantom Warriors. I think I will call that a success. So, all we have left over now is Phantom Warriors. That's all we have standing between us and this node. It is time to summon the magic spirit and meld with this node. It is happening. I am pleased. Uh, we, we don't need any more spearmen, I don't think. We've got this. All right. Hooray for the halflings. So, question. Was this all worth it? Now we have Fang the Draconian. Oh, this is a cool hero. Look at this. He's come. Am I, am I that famous that Fang the Draconian showed up? Because he's a really good hero for hire for 200 gold. That's not cheap. And for upkeep. But he can fly. This is a hero who can fly. Plus one constitution. Plus one might. Charmed. I'm charmed too. Charmed heroes never fail a resistance roll. Uh, they've got, so they won't be zapped as easily. And with fire, fire breath, which just fits in with the whole fire breath theme I have going, where like everyone, everyone breathes fire. Join us, Fang. Welcome. Welcome to the fire breathing friends. Join with your dragon type things and my dragon turtle. Let's, uh, let's breathe fire on the whole world. 
Wait, so what was I doing here? I just produced a granary, okay. I was too distracted by this stroke of... Interesting stroke of fortune I just had. Interesting and slightly unaccustomed stroke of fortune. Oh, right. So, uh... This guy's a Pathfinder. Does he help other units become path Pathfinders when they move with him? I'm not sure, but I want I want Fang to take advantage of his flying ability, so... he He's gonna do a little scouting for us. Alright, so... I don't want to lose him to Merlin, but go take a peek at Merlin. But whatever you do, don't let him catch you, because... I don't want to be very sad if you die. <laughs> okay, so... We'll send in the Nagas and the Slingers first. I don't want to have to move around and waste extra time with a bunch of Phantom Warriors. Let's do this. Okay, so... Slingers! Take out an entire unit of them. Yeah, we probably don't even need to summon our own Phantom Warriors. The Slingers can eat them up. Okay, well, the Nagas hold position. Let the, fa let the Slingers do their work. Yeah, goodbye, Phantom Warriors. Okay. Alright. 170 gold, 250 mana, and a blur spell that I was already researching, so... A little bit of a waste of the research I was doing on that, but hey! I think I was pretty... Did it say I was one... Was I one turn from completing that spell? Hey, we saved an entire turn of research! <laughs> was that what that just said there? <laughs> it might have been. But hey. That's cool. Alright. We got other things, so that's neat. Um, mm, so we... Vertigo. The target suffers minus two penalty to hit and loses one defense. That could actually be a pretty cool spell. If I combine that with Blur, my opponents would have a lot of trouble hitting me. Hmm, if I met, like, a really powerful opponent, I could try that nonsense on it. Oh, you know, go, go give it a shot. And now the music is strangely gone. What's with the music today? Oh, well, having the music gone isn't as bad as having... Like, a bad screeching noise. Alright, anyways, uh... Yeah, we definitely still have sound. More Nagas, please. The magic spirit's coming along nicely. Which way should I move this army? I guess just towards Merlin. And I'll take advantage of the roads. So, for, first we'll have to go through the forest and mountains and whatnot. Okay, you can stop producing spearmen, officially. Get a granary. Guess you spearmen can return home. We'll have Naga slither over the ocean. These barbarians are rebelling a bit. But, uh, I don't care. Build a builder's hall. That's just what they do a bit. We'll just, we'll just wait for the population to even that situation out. I wonder if this is eerie. I wonder when the music will return. There we go. <laughs> oh, the village of Kusan has to complete a granary. It's like a horror game at that point. Suddenly there's a jump scare. Rah! It's funny how you can, like, make tension with silence. Okay, yes, work. Work on building the stag be the the prerequisites for the dragon turtle. I want to say stag beetle for a second there. More dragon turtles, please. Maybe I should get a shrine instead. Wait, why does it say one turn? Oh. <laughs> it's having a weird bug where it's saying one turn when it shouldn't be saying one turn. Hopefully that granary will fill in one turn, mysteriously. <laughs> Although I don't want to bug out my game. You found a monster lair and got a vertigo spell right away. Okay, cool. Sweet. Whatever Rhea spell you're researching, we're going to give it to you. Uh, I guess a summoning circle is uh, actually a very beneficial and useful spell. Especially when the front is moving. I want to move. I want to move like my summoning circle here and start unleashing Nagas that way. That'd be pretty cool. So let's get the summoning circle spell and make that dream true. Because that would be pretty cool. And now the music... 
the the learning magic music is taking the rest of the music away magically. It's the stop music spell we have learned. This spell stops the music for a while. It's a pretty cool spell. Yeah, get a smithy. That's where the upgrades go. It's a prerequisite for other cool upgrades. So sometimes it can be important to defend nodes if other wizards like try to steal them from you because they can for example uh in particular if uh, if another guardian spirit gets to a node they can knock your guardian spirit out of it i think or something like that but then there's like this the light the light wizards can actually create like a more powerful guardian spirit that can just like eat guardian spirits that try to meld with the node which is uh really dangerous because it can outclass mine and i don't want to let one of those get into the node because then i won't be able to get it back very easily or at all i don't i, I think it was nasty <laughs> is the point all right so we got slingers here mm, will two units of slingers be enough to protect the the city of jollyville i really want to defend the city of jollyville <laughs> the city of Jollyville, where you can get your jollies. <laughs> get your jollies in Jollyville, if you know what I mean. Alright, so Fang flies out over the ocean. I actually might want to work on my research a bit to get that summoning circle spell. It's quite appealing. Ah, eh, we'll get in 25 turns anyways. The passive research we get is generally usually enough for me. Alright, we got the- we got- oh, we built a building! <laughs> well, you can have the music back. Celebrate with music! Structures have been completed. Structures have been built, let's make some music now. Okay, the turtle can go ahead, because he's faster. <laughs> That's just funny. Oh, the turtle's going ahead because he's faster on the road. Vroom. Oh, wow. Having trouble keeping up with that turtle, just speeding down the highway. Get out of the way! Turtle coming through. Beep, beep. Just like a sea turtle. It's like... Just going that fast, like twice. Imagine a turtle, a giant turtle, going down the road twice as fast as you. All right, just want to put the image that's in my head firmly in yours. Because that's wacky, in my opinion. That's downright wacky. Gonna need more food. More food from Jollyville. Still hoping to find Merlin's, like, main city. Beastmen Swordsmen, I reject you, because they will... The mercenaries will show up at my home, and I... Well, actually, maybe I do need more defenses at home, but... Not not by the mercenaries. I don't, I don't need you mercenaries. Just learn to be a hero, and then come back. Alright, so yeah, this is the town that was preparing to get more turtles. And I approve of this. We have summoned more Nagas. Increasing our upkeep slowly, but that's okay. Maybe I shall, I'll send them out that way. Although I don't know, because there's roads this way. I don't know if sending them across the, the land and through the roads is a better way to go. Or across the ocean. I think these slingers are part of this. Were they part of Jollyville's or Bremen's? I'm gonna take them back to Bremen. Bremen's defenses. Okay, you you stay there. Right, I'm producing spearmen constantly. Okay, you patrol here. 
the turtle keeps going. Turtle coming through. Ah, and we have melded with the node. Look at, look at this. Don't take your attention away from it. Look at the sparklies. Now, I forget. It, you know, I don't meld with nodes very frequently anymore, but I think, I think more sparklies is better. So the fact that there's, like, mana sparklies in, like, eight of the nine squares nearby means that I'm getting a pretty good amount of... I'm getting 42 mana a turn. That's, that's really good, actually. I just doubled my mana income. Look at the sparklies. Okay, so I'm curious. There's another blue node here. I could start stacking... Sne sneaking nodes. But this one, that's... Was that a glimpse of something on... Yeah, Merlin's... Or an island next to Merlin? That would be stepping on his toes, taking that node. I would like that. Oh, yes, and Fang can explore even more. Ah, good. Fang will help me explore. Thank you, Fang. You are exactly what I needed right now. Okay, cool. I've got... I'll have two dragon turtles sitting in my home. Now. I'll actually be protecting my home. I think this is a good idea. Then my home will be, be able to protect itself fairly well. Whoops. Oh, my, my slingers got swept up with those nagas. Well, I guess, I guess those slingers are gonna protect Jollyville after all. We will protect Jollyville! So, Merlin's power just continuously impresses and concerns me. I believe his capital is... Well, it's probably in the center of that island. But, I'm gonna keep checking the... Keep checking the outside to be sure. Alright, more Nagas. Of course, Nagas are very slow. That's the only problem with Nagas. They're just very, very, very slow. Hard to forgive. Alright, this town's gonna have units moving through it. And it's almost got a full stack of stuff, so... Just going back to making me money, town. Go back to, uh, Horkin Lollipops or whatever. For money. Start up, start up the old Lollipop Guild again. It's time to make some cash. I want to be making extra food, because it, it mis makes me a little anxious if I'm not making extra food. If I lose a town that had, like, a food surplus. I've got, I've got some food, like, a food shell game going on here, and I don't want to, don't want to lose something important to me. So it'll be nice to sit on a little, little bit of extra food. Little food cushion, if you will. A nice cushion made of bread. Keeping me safe. Not sure if this town can justify a shrine. Yeah, the marketplace will lead to the farmer's market, which will lead to more growth and more food. And I like that. Ooh, okay, that's... That's it. That's the... Wow, okay. Look at you, Merlin, and your main capital building full of basilisks. Your capital city, every single slot, that's eight. Or wait, I mean nine. Nine basilisks, of course, nine. Oh, and there's, there's one more basilisk and some giant spiders outside the city. Okay, nine basilisks. That's gonna be hard to beat. How many dragon turtles does it take to kill a basilisk? I'm afraid that the Basilisk will use its stone vision and turn my Dragon Turtle into a lovely decorative statue. Because every single time I fight with a Basilisk, it's going to try to turn me into stone. And I'll have to play my resistance against it. 
And it'll be a crapshoot whether or not I'm just instantly murdered by it, which is obviously not ideal when you've got a great deal of defense and don't do a lot of damage. So it's like, I won't be... The odds of the Basilisk... The Dragon Turtle has pretty good resistance, so the odds of the Basilisk turning it into stone right away aren't great, or in each individual attack. But the Dragon Turtle doesn't have great attack, so... The Dragon Turtle's gonna be hitting the Basilisk again and again and again, and eventually, I'm gonna get a bad roll and just get turned to stone. In fact, it might happen pretty damn quickly, if I'm unlucky, so... Ah, uh, oh, crap. Okay, so... But... Uh, okay, I might not be able to kill... Uh, uh, Merlin's capital that easily, but I might be able to, like... Just, like, wear him down by destroying his towns consistently. I gotta think, like... Well, he can't attack me directly. I gotta think like Viking Raiders. He can't defend all of his towns very well. There's gonna be towns that he doesn't defend well. And I'm not gonna be able to take towns on his island, so I'm just gonna keep, like, burning and pillaging and raiding and stuff. We're gonna have to be, like, Viking Raiders for a while and just kind of just wear him down a bit. And we'll, uh, we'll profit through that. And then, hopefully, he won't have the mana to, like, maintain nine basilisks. Because he'll wore him down enough, and uh, then I can kill him. I really hope it goes that way. Or, I'll get so much wealth from destroying him that I can just move on to something more profitable and then finish him off later. Something like that. But, uh, yeah, it's time for me and, and Merlin to fight. We've got a lot of Nagas moving that way. I I know where his I know where his main city is, his capital is. So could I take okay, this many halberdiers? Could I take that? Maybe, but Merlin's gonna throw magic at me, so probably not, not right now. But I I want to start making assessments like that. His defenses are mostly just cla he's clackons, and his defenses are mostly just spearmen. Okay, so he's got barbarians as well. Oh, I forgot to scout this, didn't I? Whoops! Hmm. I think I want to focus on hitting Merlin now. I'm getting a pretty good idea, thanks to Fang giving me more scouting information. I think I can start being more aggressive. All right. Get yourself a farmer's market. Are these dragon turtles healthy yet? I want to check. If the, the dragon turtles have probably been healthy for a while, haven't they? I've kind of forgotten about my two elite dragon turtles. They kind of retired in that barbarian village for a while. And good for them. But now they need to take up arms again. More nagas, that's great. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I should be using the road? I keep uh, second-guessing myself on this. It's not good to send my forces different ways, but hey. Uh, we'll, we'll work it out. Hmm, okay, so. Okay, we've got a pretty good idea of what his empire looks like. So, going from here. It's a good way to measure this. Okay. So, yeah, we'll, like, one screen over, two screens over. Yeah, just one screen over this way, I guess, and, like, you have the roads to benefit from. So, yeah, we'll just keep sending forces this way. And, uh, the, the Naga sent the long way around are a bit of a mistake. But, hey, that's okay. They'll they'll do some exploring for me, I guess. Yeah, in fact, I found this island here. Maybe there's something I can exploit. A little bit worried about the dragon turtle I just sent up the river. Metaphorically and possibly literally. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of Nagas slithering about. Hmm. Uh, maybe I need to focus on research and tech up a bit. 
I need to move my summoning circle. Yeah, let's let's research a bit. I said I was getting it fast enough before, but I changed my mind. Let's get that summoning circle so I can start chucking out Nagas a bit closer. Okay. It's another one of those assessments. That's a pretty good town by the ocean. That'd be a good target. Or that would be a good target, too. Alright, keep exploring. I kind of want this outpost to grow more before I attack it. Because I want to steal from Merlin. So I'm actually not going to attack that outpost and let it grow. So that I can become something that I can steal from later. Like a fish that I will plump up before I catch it later. Yes, grow. Grow little outposts and give me money later. So that I might feed. So that I might feast upon you. Oh, whoops. Oh no, I wasn't making uh, the fighter's guild here. Like, what, what's coming on? Are my dragon turtles coming along in this extra lizard man city? No, they are not. They are expressly not coming along. Which is a bit of a shame. Whoops. Oh, oh, there's a there's a hidden sorcery node there. Pretty cool. All right. So what kind of defenses does this town have? I would like to know. It is two war bears, spearmen, bowmen, and spearmen. The two war bears are the biggest concern naturally. There's actually a lot of sorcery nodes around today. I am pleased. Pleased by this development, I am. I say... That sounds like... That sounds like something I should be saying in a Yoda voice. Pleased by this, I am. Yes. Mm. Oh, right. Don't send those the wrong way. I'll have to have that Naga turn around. Turn around, Nagas. These two can keep going, but that, that one I just summoned will have to turn around. I'm starting to feel like this dragon turtle should come back and join the main combat force. Because we're about to start fighting. Things are about to start popping off any second here. I want all my troops back together. What does this have? Phantom Warriors. Phantom Warriors, you say? Just Phantom Warriors? I'm willing to sacrifice an Naga on this. It is Phantom Warriors, 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 and Nagas. That's actually not so bad. Let's fight this. Let's fight this. I have to do it at a range times two. But I'll just keep chucking my own Phantom Warriors into this pot. And eventually we'll take this. I've got Nagas. I've got Phantom Warriors. We can do this. You've got Phantom Warriors, I've got Phantom Warriors. Let's just all get along. Let's all get along. Let's compare Phantom Warriors. See who has the best Phantom Warriors. Collect them all. Okay. <laughs> Those two Phantom Warriors were perfectly tied. That's entertaining. Perfect tie again. Very entertaining. That is surprising when that happens. I, we seem to be even... Oh, and then my Phantom Warriors lost. You guys suck. You ruined the whole tie thing. And my, my Nagas lost to Phantom Warriors. That's even worse. I thought Nagas were supposed to be able to defeat them because they got like first strike and poison, but they only have two figures. So I guess yeah, Nagas actually aren't as good against Phantom Warriors as I was kind of hoping. That's kind of an issue, or is it just kind of a luck thing? Hmm, another, another, another sorcery note. It's got Nagas. Do we wish to enter? Not yet, but that doesn't sound so bad. Alright, so Merlin owns a node here. Good for him. Good for you! Look at you with a node! Won't your mother be proud? I can just hear her gossiping to all her friends. 
my Merlin has a, 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 a nature node and several cities full of ant people. What does your son do? Because despite being very old, Merlin's mother is still definitely alive. Magically. He's constantly dealing. <laughs> I'm about to cast a spell. What's that you're doing? Nothing, mother. I was just casting a spell to take over a village. <laughs> Just like the idea of Merlin constantly having to deal with his mother. Right, I was kind of turning around to deal with this. Should I attack? Hmm. Merlin's uneasy, and he should be. Should I attack Merlin? He's all nature. Mer I forgot, Merlin was nature. He wasn't holy. I thought he was holy. He's all nature and one death. He and one death book. <laughs> I'll summon a few zombies, maybe. He's got Wolfhard the Barbarian and Shardus the Healer, as well as 450 bucks. I got more money than you. Huh, okay, so... He's got... Wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone. He's got no mana right now. He can cast no spells. So, the question is... Can my Dragon Turtle defeat two War Bears? Can my Nagas defeat these troops? Maybe if I throw some magic spells in there too, we can. I'm gonna attack just because you have no mana, and that's not a good that's not a good look for you. Merlin, that's just not that's not good. You can't just be sitting around with no mana and expect me not to just decide to murder you. Also, war bears are all attack and no defense, which is perfect. Perfect for Phantom Warriors. Who, that's their whole jam. Or no, wait, it's enemies that are more defense than attack. Still, it works out. Other people that are all attack. Well, actually, now they say it. <laughs> Phantom Warriors aren't perfect for that, but it, it, Phantom Warriors actually work out really well in the war bears, so that, that works really well. Now we just have to deal with the, uh, the human-like units. We are not getting injured at all. Okay, those not good. We just... We did so much better than I expected for this fight. Alright, thank you very much, Merlin. I will be burning your village to the ground. I'm sorry. Uh, but beastmen are abominations that deserve to be destroyed. <laughs> or it could just be that, uh, I just feel like doing damage here. And in fact, actually, because you, uh, or Merlin, uh, you may hate me now, but just you wait, because I have another dragon turtle hiding in a river, and this city is only defended by swordsmen, so I'm going to attack it. And I'm going to level it to the ground with this one dragon turtle that you should really just inspect your rivers more closely, just in case of dragon turtle. Because you got a serious case of dragon turtle on your hands, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm afraid it's serious and the whole city's gonna have to go. Okay, so this is beautiful. Um, I can just rain down uh, Phantom Warriors on these poor Clackons. And uh, Clackons are mostly defense, so the Phantom Warriors will do very well against them. And uh, I think my dragon turtle can just eat anyone who's left over. But we'll see. Okay, one more Phantom Warriors. Phantom Warriors come to save the day. Phantom Warriors. The city will not stay. Oh yeah, the Phantom Warriors. I only have to deal with two units of swordsmen. Ha ha. How easy this is. Merlin, Merlin, Merlin. I thought you were going to be a threat, but then it turns out that you're not. I will destroy every city that you own. I've got dragon turtles next to three of your cities. Another city is going down of Merlin's. Suddenly, oh, this is a serious, serious blow to Merlin and his wallet. Okay, so, uh, these, these shaman are, they'll, they'll kill a dragon, they'll kill Phantom Warriors if they live. I want to wait until those, okay, I want to wait until those shaman are out of ammo. 
And then, ha, you didn't even hurt my dragon turtle. My dragon turtle's unfazed by you, shamans. And now the Phantom Warriors come out, because the Phantom Warriors can just get hosed by, by shamans, which stinks pretty bad. Now look at these clack on halberdiers, looking all tough, and they're nearly just destroyed by the Phantom Warriors. Phantom Warriors are really abusive. If you use them correctly, Phantom Warriors are just like, they are actually just like, the best, one of the best things about being blue. Just Phantom Warriors. Phantom Warriors! That's why I sing about them. Come to save the day. Phantom Warriors, nothing will stand in your way. When you've got Phantom Warriors. Alright. Sadly, Phantom Warriors have a weakness when it comes to barbarians. Because they throw things. That's not... That's very rude. Alright. Raise the city to the ground. A hundred gold pieces are looted. You lost two fame? Oh, I guess you lose fame when you start <laughs> looting cities, but hey, that's okay. This is, what I, this is the price you pay to defeat Merlin. So now Merlin has a lot less money. Still no mana crystals. Ooh, oh, that was delicious. I am much richer now. I was thinking that all the money I gained was directly from his bank account, but a lot of it come from the came from the like buildings being destroyed and being turned into money, which, which makes sense. Still, we we damaged his income quite a bit, and we hurt his pocketbook. That makes me this pleases me greatly. All right, how's that summoning circle coming along, apprentice? Eleven turns if I keep researching at this rate. All right, keep it up. Ruthless storming of Bromberg has destroyed whatever future our two empires may have had. Well, you were the one getting all annoyed about how I didn't have uh, any any books of your type, so you can all you can all tense with me. And plus, it wasn't just Bromberg you lost; you lost two other cities by my calculations. Now he has twenty-one mana. I am used to AIs having, like, giant stores of mana, but this is this is the difference between a hard AI opponent and an impossible AI opponent. I'm used to dealing with impossibles. Still, having a, a capital city full of basilisks was still very daunting. And it, it still is, in fact, very daunting that his capital city is full of basilisks, but... You only have 21 mana. I don't think this is enough to stop the rampage of this dragon turtle continuing to destroy cities of Merlins. Okay, so he gave this clack on resist elements, which resist magics of chaos and nature. Plus three to magical range attacks. Okay, that's fine. You know, you can do that. That is not the spell you need to cast, Merlin. But nice try. Oh, actually the halberdiers managed to defeat these... Crack's Call, now that's a scary freaking spell. Crack's Call, holy crap. That's like one of nature's best spells. Okay, so let me explain Crack's Call. Crack's Call calls a crack to consume whatever unit it's cast upon. And you just have a chance to fall into it, no matter what unit you are. And, well, that's not like... That means like some of the biggest units in the game, as long as they're not flying could just be instantly killed by this spell that's not very expensive. That's that's the power of Crack's Call. Crack's Call... And so that Crack's Call could have eaten my Dragon Turtle, just killed him outright. It's it's basically a chance to death. A, that Crack's Call had a chance to just consume my turtle. I am lucky that my turtle just didn't get killed by that Crack's Call, in a sense. Although the chance was kind of low. But you can just keep throwing Crack's Call again and again. So Crack's Call is like... One of those brutal green spells that uh, I remember liking very much when I played green. So I'm glad that didn't work. That was a good use of the little mana that that Merlin had accumulated. That sort of thing will... Great Worm. Do you wish to enter? F no. Fuck no. Let's not deal with that. That thing's, that thing's one of the biggest monsters in the game. You get out of here. 
Okay, I will buy the Fighter's Guild because I am rich. I will buy the Fighter's Guild with Merlin's money. Alright, Fighter's Guild is complete. Uh, now we just need an Armorer's Guild and we get the Dragon Turtles coming out. Teenage Mutant Dragon Turtles. Oh, we can actually like enchant these roads or use engineers to build more roads because I am doing this pretty consistently to get to Merlin's Domain. Alright, again, that's his capital. I would like to keep, like, observing his capital. There is a basilisk. That's that one basilisk that's patrolling outside. I do not want to... Do not want to... I just want to uh, evade uh, the basilisks. We're basically employing Viking... Like, Fabian Viking kind of tactics in this case, in this situation. We just... We do not want to engage his troops, we just want to starve them out. I can't... I can't handle those basilisks, I don't think. That is like my... You gotta know your weaknesses. Your strengths and your weaknesses, and that... Those basilisks... The basilisks, I'm pretty sure, are my dragon turtle's weakness. Like... I'm not gonna be able to handle that. Can't handle that noise. Alright, Farmer's Mark... It, that is cool. The barbarians are gonna grow a lot from that. Uh, I guess just start doing housing and no, you guys need a shrine or a temple or something. Yeah. All right. Oh, and right. I I stopped doing that. I keep forgetting about these dragon turtles. Every time I click on them, you, you pulled me away. I clicked on the dragon turtles. Stop it. These these two dragon turtles have been sitting in this barbarian village for like years, and they're still rebelling. In front of my most elite dragon turtles. How dare you? Burn them. Burn them to the ground. <laughs> Dracarys. Burn them. How dare you? These are my most elite dragon turtles that have been sitting around far too long. Like ages, years, generations went by. But now, now they must go out again and continue the fight. Okay, so. It's got any information. How much mana does he have? He has 13 mana! Oh, oh, Merlin, you are just not... Not storing up enough mana, I'm afraid. Let's see what you're gonna do with it. He is going to enchant these swordsmen. That is great. We will have to fight over a wall in this one. But I think we can handle it. I'll let the Phantom Warriors help us breach this wall. Alright, that softens him up. Alright, sadly I didn't get inside on that move. Probably gonna attack me, so I'll back up. Probably gonna... Well, actually, I might not need all these Phantom Warriors. I'm, I'm, I'm paying for it. I'm paying times three for this, so I might be... Might be being a bit excessive with these Phantom Warriors, but considering the Dragon Turtle's a bit slow, I don't, I don't know, because the enemy will be attacking me. Oh no, the enemy didn't actually. Oh. Oh, the enemy attacks me when we're there. Okay. Oh, damn. Alright. I ended up fighting them all through this wall. I didn't do that right. If I did things right, I could have snuck in through the wall instead of fighting them all over the wall. But, eh, it works. Burn the village to the ground for stabbing my turtle. How dare you? How dare you stab my turtle? I burn your village to the ground for this. So, Merlin's lost a lot of cities. Merlin has a lot of cities, though, so Merlin remains relatively unfazed by this. Well, I shouldn't say that. He's pretty phased. But he's still, he's still a threat. I bet he still has a lot of basilisks running around. Bet he has a bushel of basilisks bouncing around.
It's a very long trek for these Nagas. Here we have the March of the Nagas. Watch as they slowly sail, slither across the sea. Every year the Nagas do this. It is part of their, their ritual. Wait, I wanted to be able to sit. So eight. Eight turns. Huh, there was war bears on the path, but they did not decide to engage my wounded turtle. They might regret this. In fact, I can assure you they will regret this. They must not, not underestimate the turtles. So that outpost is still empty. Four swordsmen here. He has no mana. Probably because his income has dropped so much. He's probably had to, uh, like, unsummon a few basilisks. He probably can't maintain everything. Oh, uh, I might not need all these phantom warriors. They'll help me get in, hopefully. Ooh, ow. Okay. Help me get in, Phantom Warriors. Thanks, guys! Alright, we are inside! That'll help. But maybe the Phantom Warriors could help me quite a bit, too. Come on in, guys! Nice. Alright, good job, guys. Burn the city to the ground and give me more money! Alright. It's a shame that I'm having to destroy all these cities, but I, just, I don't think I could hold them with all those basilisks that he's got. And we will rebuild again, using his road network. Alright, give me a scouting report, Nagas. What do we got? He's still got nine basilisks. See, that can't... We can't have that. We just can't have that. Alright, he's got a bunch of shaman here. I think this wounded turtle could pray... Make these shaman his prey. Okay, just hold out. Hold out, turtle. Yeah, just take all those bullets. Damn! Oh, the last bullet killed the turtle. Okay, my plan... I should have healed up more. My plan was to have it take all the shots, and then the phantom warriors would, like, sop up a lot of those... Uh... Those shaman. Could have just waited for him to heal, but it would have taken a while. Oh well. My bad. Just had such a good thing going on. Still got momentum against Merlin. Zombies in the temple. Well, what else is in the temple? Because sometimes there's like zombies and then like a greater demon. Uh, I can take zombies. I'm curious. And my turtle's still a distance away from Merlin. Go for it! See what's inside. It is zombies and skeletons. Skeletons are maybe even a little bit more scary than the zombies. I'm not sure which is more scary. Zombies or skeletons. Honestly. Oh no, skeletons have less health. The zombies are scarier. I mean, that is traditional. It's, I mean, skeletons are missing flesh. Zombies are like... Skeletons are like zombies, but without flesh. So, they're missing something, so that makes them inferior. Unless you're, like, trying to shoot them with an arrow or something, because, like, it'll go through them. But otherwise, generally, this is how it works. But yes, yeah, so imagine a dragon turtle just smashing skeletons and burning zombies. All for ten gold? We did all that work for ten gold? This is an insult. <laughs> it's all that's in this crypt. Why were why were the skeletons even defending it, if, is the question. Scouts found zombies. Let's do it again. And this time it's just two zombies and we have two dragon turtles. And they are our elite, elite dragon turtles. Our elite commandos come out of hiding, come out of retirements. They won't have any problems with these zombies. And no, they did not. Beautiful. And they get 50 mana crystals. That's, that's how elites do it. They get you 50. I didn't mean to build a second spearman for this town, but congratulations, you get two spearmen now. I hope, 
Hope you appreciate it, Clackles. Whoops! Oh boy! Okay, well... We've got a basilisk and wolfar and ghouls attacking my nagas. That's not good. Okay, so a basilisk... That's a pretty scary dude. I probably should just have my nagas flee, but I could throw phantom warriors at it and see how they go. Because it would be it would be pretty cool to kill Wolfar. Oh, and then the Merlin has ghouls. Because he's a freaking ghoul. He's a freaking death a death wizard. He's Merlin's an evil wizard in this, in this game. He's clearly evil. He's oh Merlin just wasted mana using Cracks Call. Oh, let's, let's head around and see what Mer, you know Merlin does. Stones on the ghouls. Okay, Wolfar nearly got killed by- We killed Wolfar with Phantom Warriors. Ha ha! Phantom Warriors have won the day. They killed your hero. Which is good, because we don't want those heroes to become too big of a nuisance. Didn't quite kill a bass or nothing. Alright, just run away, Nagas! We win! Ha ha! <laughs> we got away! Oh, they're attacking with Halberdiers. Oh, well, these Halberdiers can be killed with fire. Although this might be starting to be a waste of mana because it's times three cost. But Phantom Warrior is pretty cheap. Okay, he did stone skin. Cast web. We're not gonna get away anymore. Ha! Phantom Warriors win! Hooray! Phantom Warriors always save the day. Alright, I'm, I'm very pleased about this. More blue nodes. There's a lot of blue nodes. Merlin's engineers. All right, how is Merlin doing for magic mana? He is out. Then let's destroy his. Yeah, you will make him flee. Run, run, little antlings. You, you should not be here. Alright, so let's send this dragon turtle against that node. I want to take it over. In fact, am I summoning... Oh, I'm not summoning more Nagas. Summon a magic spirit. We're going to take that blue node there. More nodes, more more magic, more mana. Okay, let's take this little hamlet there. We can get together, get together with Fang and take that over. I'm losing four mana a turn, and it's important to keep enough mana because it won't tell you. It'll just unsummon your units before it tells you that you're running low on mana, unlike food. Fang has made a level! Look at him! He made a level like a good boy! Alright, <laughs> look at you, you made a level. Oh, you're such a good boy, Fang. Good boy. Alright, I'll clean that up. This one it always makes me think of. He made a level. Oh, look at him. Look how proud he is of himself. He looks quite relieved. Alright, so we had a bunch of Phantom Warriors and Nagas. Sending in a lone dragon turtle could get a little dicey. But reinforcements are a long ways away, and we can kind of weed... We can kind of whittle them down with the Phantom Warriors summoning strategy. Plus, dragon turtles are... Well, no, that's right. Dragon turtles, they got the... They got the fire breath, which will make them decent against Phantom Warriors. But at the same time, the defense will be useless as against the dragon warrior... The, against the Phantom Warriors. So it could kind of go either way when, like, a dragon turtle fights, like, Phantom Warriors. The fact that their illusion really stinks, though, for the, 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 the dragon turtle. I could say that much right now. My Phantom Warriors are doing pretty good. Maybe I should go for the Nagas first. Although I want to take out that one unit of... I want to take out this one unit of Phantom Warriors. Ouchie. Yeah, that did hurt. 
then I want to hit those Nagas, because I know that the Dragon Turtles will have a fair shake against those Nagas. Fudge. Okay. That hurt. We can defeat those Nagas, though. As long as nothing else gets in the way. Okay, the Nagas are defeated. Now it's just three groups of Phantom Warriors. Can... No, the Dragon Turtle can't do it. Okay, so we took a loss. But... This next Dragon Turtle will get it. And that will make it worth it. Wow, Merlin has a lot of units guarding this nature node. And there's a Basilisk too. Okay. Get out of there! That is scary. Okay, so this is a nice little squad I got here. I'm gonna separate them though, because the Dragon Turtle's faster. And I wanna I wanna challenge this town up here again, is what I'd like to do. With this other with these other troops that are coming around. I'll let those... Well, no, the settlers are in my way. I will not let these settlers live, because they're in my way. Yeah, use your cracks, call, and run away, you settlers. And they disappeared, so they probably were lost. The minnow would be lost. Which is kind of a shame, because I wanted them to make a new city that I could raid, but... Eh, they're in my way. I'm not gonna... Not gonna divert my units just because they're in the way. Okay, so let's see. What's... Spotted Nagas, but what else? This could get dicey, but let's go in there. These are my elites, though. I might not want to lose my elites. Okay, so we got three Nagas and a bunch of Phantom Warriors. But then again, these elite units have a long way to go. And, like, sometimes I just want to use my troops rather than have them sit around. Alright, we got one unit of Phantom Warriors. Oh wait, don't summon that next to those those Nagas. We don't want to necessarily... Again, the Phantom Warriors do pretty well against Nagas too, we found out. But my Dragon Turtles will do better there. I'd rather have it be Phantom Warrior versus Phantom Warrior. Brother against brother. <laughs> than, uh, than Phantom Warriors versus Nagas. Dragon Turtles versus Phantom Warriors. That's not the way I want it to go. That's, that's the kind of interactions I want to see. Beautiful. Well, that wasn't quite as beautiful, but still. Oh, and nicely done. Nicely done. My Phantom Warriors really did good against the other Phantom Warriors. That'll make all the difference. Ooh, oh, that hurts so bad. Dragon Turtle versus Phantom Warrior is brutal. Okay. You get, a, you get back. You're about dead. Ooh, ow. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Oh, you... God dang it, I can't believe it. The last, like, three Phantom Warriors killed two Dragon Turtles. And now one Phantom Warrior stands victorious. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm slightly triggered by that ending. But that's fine, because we're gonna get that node... The sacrifices were not in vain. Sacrifices must be made, but... Like, having one Phantom Warrior stand victorious over your two elite Dragon Turtles... Does sting a bit. It's like a bittersweet ending to that. Because they did... They did complete their mission. But, ouch. Ouch, though. Alright, so another Magic Spirit. Hey, Magic Spirit, you had two movement. Don't fall into that. Uh, that's a weird trap that units will fall into where they'll, like, merge with another unit that's slower and then just move slower. Which is weird. It's like, that unit's out of movement, and I just mer merged with its stack, so I'm out of movement. And it's like, no, you're not out of movement. Keep moving. Ah, uh, but my friends aren't moving, so I'm, I, I don't feel like moving anymore. I'm just not into that. I want to hang out. I want to hang out and have friends and have a social life. Don't make me move. Don't make me move and forget and lose all my friends. Oh, like this. I should have moved the turtle first. 
down the road, then the Nagas. Did it the wrong way around. So how are the defenses of this town? Pretty lax. I wonder if Fang could do it by himself. He probably could, but I don't want to lose Fang, so I'm going to send reinforcements with him. Okay. So you are going to take this node. Oh no, there are phantom warriors guarding this node. Whatever will I do except for summon my own phantom warriors? take this note over. Not not one unit of phantom warriors. Take that. I find a wand! The wand of infinite magic! That sounds incredible. But sadly, uh, it's it's just casting's power. What was the negatives of that? You can't use it. Aw, oh, he can only use swords. Fang, can you use this wand? No, I only use swords. Well, imagine, imagine this is like a very dull sword. Nope, can't use it. Oh, come on. So, plus two attack, plus ten spell skill, minus two to save. I need a wizard for this. Or I could always throw it in the vault and burn it up for mana crystals, but... I'll keep it in my vault and hope I get a guy who can use it. Okay, so I've got two... Yeah, I've got two ghosts going out. I could get another magic ghost spirit. Just because I think I might take another node, maybe? I'm not sure. Nah, let's just... I'm losing mana right now, so let's just keep things as they are. Okay, so Basilisk and Ghouls. Merlin did an Ice Bolt, that's fine. Ooh, oh, oh, that Basilisk is very fast. Um, let's see if I can, like... How much damage I can do with the Phantom Warriors on it. Not much. Okay, flee! Flee, Nagas! Neutral Village of Mecca offers its allegiance to Merlin. Oh, why? Why? Because of some sort of marriage? How dare you? I'm trying to kill Merlin here. Haven't, haven't you heard that all of Merlin's villages are just being burned to the ground? Because really, really, that should, that should really make you think about what you're doing here. You just signed your own death warrants. If I knew that everyone who associated with Merlin was getting burned to death by dragon turtles, I might not want to, like, you know, have my daughter marry into, marry into a family that's, uh, living... I might wanna, not want to start living under Merlin's protection because he can't protect people. He isn't... He can't protect people very well, it turns out. Shouldn't uh, rely on someone who can't protect you, hmm? Alright, go Fang! I believe you and uh, one Naga can take out Spearman Halberdiers and Spearman and Swordsman. Ah, uh, maybe not. Wait, wait, wait one more turn and get two Nagas. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you, Fang. You mean a lot to me. Oh, he has a stag beetle? Oh, you have stag beetles? I'm totes jealous, Merlin. Did you just try to cracks call me, Merlin? That is rude. That is very rude. Alright. Now I'm gonna have to burn your city to the ground. As if I wasn't gonna do that anyways. Oh, hey, now this neutral, or this little hamlet is good enough to maybe step on. Let's go do that. Let's go step on this little hamlet. Get some cash. Okay, Apprentice. Three turns until... Wait, what? Spell lock? I'm researching spell lock? I thought I was researching the summoning circle. Did I get this? When did I get this? I, I have the summoning circle, don't I? I? I've had the summoning circle for quite a while. Gas the summoning circle already. I thought I was still working on that. Oh boy, he's coming at me with uh, stag beetles. Okay, so it's time to compare a stag beetle to a dragon turtle. So a stag beetle has more attack and similar fire breath. Oh, I think actually a, a stag beetle has more fire breath than a turtle or similar. Six versus six, although I'm one rank higher. I think that affects that, but similar fire breath. The turtle has more defense. 
maybe no resistance. Yeah, so it's like the stag beetle and the turtle are very similar, but just the, st the turtle has more defense. But less health. Actually, I think... I'm starting to think that stag beetles might be better than dragon turtles, really. Oh, you webbed me. Now I don't get turned, so I can't cast a spell. I... Ooh, ooh. I, oh, okay, yep. We're still alive, but that hurt a bit. Phantom Warriors, save me! Although, crap, they've got fire. That might not end well. They did okay. Phantom Warriors do okay against, like, giant fire breathers, we found out. Just because it doesn't have enough attack. Doesn't have enough fire breath to fire breathe on all of them. You can't fire breathe all of us! Some of us are going to stab straight through that carapace of yours. Ooh, yeah, that's very effective. I'm going to take one of those... You might get me, but I'm going to take one of you stag beetles with me, thanks to the power of Phantom Warriors. Yeah, we took a stag beetle with us. Alright. How about this next one? Ah, crap. Run away! Run away, turtle! Oh, so why aren't turtles good at running away? <laughs> Run away, turtle! Brown. I wish. Why not? Why didn't you get away? I can't comprehend this. Should I get a halfling temple? Just more halfling housing. Okay, so... Yeah, now let's take out this city. Theoretically, Merlin should have blown all his magic. Yep, so he's powerless. You are powerless to stop me, Merlin! So, Fang's got good stats, but remember, he's alone, whereas they have many figures, so. He's, Fang isn't as powerful as he appears. So I'm going to soften up my enemy, particularly those halberdiers, with uh, some phantom warriors. Beautiful. Let's finish off the halberdiers with more phantom warriors. I think this will be worth it. No, 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 no. The phantom warriors. There we go. All right. And now the rest of my boys can just sop everything up. It should be fine. Yeah. Good job. In fact, what I did might have been a bit overkill, but that's okay. That'll be a good experience for Fang. We want we want Fang to get powerful. We don't we do not want to take any risks with Fang. He is very precious to me. Okay, so this turtle is gonna go ahead. In fact, I wanted him to go ahead of those uh, Nagas like quite a while ago, but he kept getting like mixed in with them. And then that turtle will take that city. I, I am, I, since I keep raising cities, I keep losing fame. This is probably like the worst my fame's ever been, like eight fame. Yeah, my fame is getting terrible. I'm not going to get a good fame score, but hey. We're going to beat Merlin. And he, just with those basilisks and his, the, the armies he could field, I just doubted my ability to hold those towns. And it would have been worse if I wasn't able to hold them. It's like... When they take them back, then I would lose like a lot of money in junk, and I'd, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not into that scene. So, this is the best way to do it. Doesn't always feel good though, like raising cities to the ground. Well, it's kind of fun, admittedly. <laughs> but it doesn't feel good to kill people, and. uh... Waste the wa there's the wasted potential feels bad of the cities that you could have had. We are making a lot of extra food, so yeah, everyone. I'm gonna make sure all my extra cities down here are just like set to workers. Like this barbarian village should be doing way more work than it is. Okay, that's more like it. Four food surplus. 
Ah, time to move my new summoning circle. Not there. Time to move my new summoning circle. Okay, so probably, it's probably going to be Jollyville. Lots of horrible monsters are coming out of Jollyville. Come on down to Jollyville. Horrible monsters are born here every day. We cry in our sleeps. <laughs> in Jollyville, we huddle. We huddle. In, uh... In little... In, we huddle in fetal positions. Hoping that our demise does not come. <laughs> at the fangs of the monsters that are summoned daily in our village. Come to Jollyville! <laughs> Come on down! It's great! It's the greatest place to be. So, uh, I'll scout over here. Ah, uh, some sprites defending this... this node. I don't want to lose my wizard or my my draconian to that. Wait, do spiders have like? I'm worried that those giant spiders might have forest movement because that'd be annoying. They could potentially attack my draconian there. These nagas will continue to scout for me. Oh yeah, I should stop researching so much. I don't really have a good research target. Although I could do summon hero, maybe. That has potential. Or air elemental. That's like a pretty cool combat spell. Expensive as heck, though. Like, you need to power up your casting ability before you can even cast that kind of cat spell. Uh, let's see. I Yeah, why not summon hero for the fun of it? See who we get. I'm certainly not going to get many more heroes the old-fashioned way these days. Now that I went and burned so many villages, my fame is crap. I'm surprised I got that Draconian earlier. Nice. More farmer's markets. More food. Yay for food. Lots of food. Ooh. The basilisks are always trying to eat my turtles. You'll never get me, basilisks. Ha ha. You'll never catch me. I'm the turtle. The gingerbread turtle. You'll never catch me. I'm the gingerbread turtle. I go into the ocean, get all swollen up. I've become all swollen and inedible. I taste like seawater. You'll never catch me. I'm the gingerbread turtle. What do you mean you don't want to catch me? I'm pretty sure I'm delicious. I mean, why wouldn't you want to eat gingerbread soaked in seawater? Alright, I burned that village to the ground with no resistance. and halberdiers. They might reinforce the city. I don't like that idea. Okay, so I should be sending one of the magic spirits down to this place. Now, it might bother some of you that I never trust the auto-pathing, but just, it's a good policy in this game if you want to move, if you want to do exactly what you want to do. The auto-pathing is not, it's not good. I would, if you want to make the most out of all your troops, I would say yes, never trust the auto-pathing ever. <laughs> it will do you wrong almost instantaneously. If you are almost absolutely sure that your the uh, your path is 
has no obstacles and it's hard for it to screw up. Like, there's the one unit, the one thing I will use autopathing on is a magic spirit. Because magic spirits have, they can fly, or they're floating, and they have uh, the pathfinding. So that it doesn't matter what terrain you travel on. And losing a magic spirit usually isn't that sad. But that's the only thing I'll trust to autopathing as a magic spirit. Nothing else. It is not not advised. Oh, the basilisk the basilisk is protecting the tower. Ah, okay, as as they are often used as guardians. Okay, so this magic spirit will go there. This magic spirit I will trust to autopath to here. As I said, it's the only thing I'll do that with. And then this magic spirit will follow the army and see if it can take anything else, because I have an extra magic spirit, but I think that's okay. Plus it was just uh just easier for me to do things that way. Oh yeah, I'm usually rejected. No mercenaries. I'm losing a worrying seven mana a turn, so let's stop doing research and start pumping out the mana. Pump up the mana. Oh, and maybe now that it's not so far away, maybe I can consider doing a storm giant again and doing the whole floating island spiel. Hmm, I'll think about it. Wait, Phantom Warriors? I thought we killed them all. So one fat did three, did some Phantom Warriors come back? Do they come back? Oh, hang on a second. I thought I killed, I thought I killed all the Phantom Warriors. Am I seriously confused here? Oh, well, I can summon three Phantom Warriors, but like, uh, I thought this was, there was no resistance here. Does the resistance of like nodes come back? I thought like once you cleared it, it's clear. Did I forget to come back and maybe I forgot to come back and clear this? Oh, well. come on, Magic Spirit, you can yay, Magic Spirit, you have claimed. Inside you find 130 gold. No, I think I forgot to come back and avenge the deaths of. It was the other one that I did. Okay, well, the magic spirit did it himself. I can do it all by myself with a bunch of uh, Phantom Warriors to help me. If, if, uh, all by myself if you don't count the Phantom Warriors. I can do it all by myself, asterisk. <laughs> asterisk with, a, with the assistance of my my phantom friends. My, my imaginary friends. My imaginary friends don't count. All right, so take two. Shamans versus Dragon Toilet. So shamans just fire all their shots, but they don't kill the dragon turtle. They did a lot more damage than I thought they would still. But the dragon turtle is impervious to your shots. And now, now that you're out of ammo, I can summon phantom warriors to kill you. Because the phantom warriors would have died very quickly to the shots of the shamans. Shamans ain't so good uh, fighters, though. Or probably the dragon turtle could have just won the fight after they're out of shots, too. But maybe not. But we'll definitely win the fight now. Considering I only have to fight one shaman. Cool. Burn the city to the ground. 167 gold pieces. All right. Merlin is not budging on the number of the number of basilisks he's able to field in his capital, and I am surprised because I have just I have just been just a uh, just seriously putting a thorn in his side, just destroying, like, every city he owns. But Merlin is a very, very tough nut to crack. And I am like a very determined hook-billed bird of some sort that has evolved for this sole purpose. I will destroy you. I will destroy you, Merlin. <laughs> All those basilisks just seem insurmountable at this moment, but that is okay. You can you can have all your troops there. I'll just take every- You can have your capital, I'll take everything else, thank you very much. You have a deal, sir. (laughs) 
Whoops, okay, I cost that Dragon Turtle one movement. And meld! Alright, so how much more did that get me? Yeah, I got my power base up to 51. So yeah, that one was less likely. Less likely, less lucky. It only gave me 5 instead of 8. Five, 5 sparkly spots. And I think the number of sparkly spots you get is the amount of mana you're getting out of it. Basically, the effectiveness. Like, it directly... It's a direct correlation. So, I mean, and that makes sense. Although I was not always sure of that before, but... I, you know, I didn't always want to take the time to do the math back then. At least now I have a bit more patience for that kind of thing. So, should I do Storm Giant? I am making 28 mana a turn. I can afford the Giant Lug. Storm Giants, please. We gotta get higher quality. Quantity just ain't gonna cut it anymore. Plus, a Storm Giant might be able to handle a Basilisk more easily. He'll be able to, like, chuck lightning bolts at the Basilisk from a distance. And that could work. What we got in the note, it's a Storm Giant! Hey, we were just talking about you, buddy! I'm not gonna fight with that. That's thoroughly intimidating when it's defending a node. You can keep that node. That is yours. You have earned it. Okay, so this Jurassol guy, this wizard's just hanging out outside the city. I can kill him. Or you can just run away. Okay, fine, run away. It feels like heroes, when they flee, are more likely to survive than, like, normal units when they flee, which would make sense. Alright, so, they're halberdiers. That's pretty severe. I'm gonna- I'm still gonna summon some phantom warriors. Maybe just one, though. I don't want to waste too much mana, because we're doing this at times three cost. But Halberd ears are pretty rough. Ooh, yeah, they just took half my Dragon Turtle. Halberd ears. I always remember, clack on Halberd ears were just really good. They're just solid units, with that 6-6. Six, six. We're gonna need all the Phantom Warriors we can get on this one. Phantom Warriors, come to save the day. Phantom Warriors, bail me out, I say. I got myself into a bad situation. Although I think my Dragon Turtle did just have some bad luck. Okay, okay, Dragon Turtle, nope. It's my Dragon Turtle's in critical health. But that's okay, Fang! Fang is here to save the day. Fang will defeat the enemies. I don't think Fang is as good of a dra as a dragon turtle. He had Fang had trouble with that last, that one last halberdier of that unit. Not exactly. Oh God, Fang! No, don't die on me. Can you do it, dragon turtle? Please tell me you can do it. Okay, he failed. Run away, Fang! Yeah, heroes seem like they have a better success rate when, with fleeing. Which I am now grateful for. Before it was bothering me because I was trying to kill a hero. But now when I'm using a hero to run away, I'm grateful for it. Uh, okay, so Fang could immediately attack again, but he could get struck down by a... Merlin doesn't have anything. Alright! Fang is back the very next day! Because he can summon more Phantom Warriors. Hey, you know, I couldn't win this fight. But my friends can. Now I can just summon more of them. I'm blowing a lot of mana on this, but it's worth it. I'm lucky that Phantom Warriors aren't that expensive. And very effective against Halberd Ears. Burn the city to the ground, 149. Yep, totally worth it. Worth every penny. Worth every mana crystal. I can convert that gold to more power. Alright, so... Are you starting to run out of mana? No, he's still got a full... You're starting to, like, not be able to maintain... 
A full city of basilisks? Nope. Nope, he's able to maintain a full city of basilisks, and I don't know how. I don't know how, man, and, like, Merlin, the whole, the whole trying to starve Merlin of mana strategy is not working. Is it because of, uh, the nodes he has? I don't think the nodes he has are actually, like, protected by the stronger type of magic spirit, so I could... I could try to weasel him out of his nodes to, like, fully starve him, kind of thing. Hmm. What other cities does he have? I've, I have eliminated every single other city that Merlin has on the map that I can currently see. Great worm there. That makes sense why Merlin has not scavenged that. Ruins. Hmm. I'm starting to lose direction a bit here. Uh, Fang. I'll have Fang explore. Fang will help me. Fang, I need you to help me explore and figure out what to do next. My armies are losing direction. We don't have... We don't have a target besides Merlin's main city. Good lord, he's able to... Merlin's able to field a ridiculous number of units. And a ridiculous number of basilisks. And he's doing it all from just one city. And this is just hard mode. This is an impossible mode. There's no way. I mean, like... I mean, I know you got, like, what? 520 cash stocked up? Stockpiled? But there's no way you can continue to do this. Maybe Merlin's just taking a bit to starve. That's all. That's all. It's just... I'm choking him. He's choking. He's just taking a while for me to choke him out. Is that it? I hope that's it. Because otherwise, I don't have any other tricks up my sleeve. Except for, like... Just teching up a lot. That's like... I'll have to, like, attack him with the equal number of storm giants that he has to basilisks. Oh, or continuously assaulting him again and again with, like, phantom warriors. That could work. That could work. That'll work, maybe. Yeah, I think that'll work. Uh, alright. As long as I can hold it together. Let's see. Let's see how well this nature node is defended. I just gotta keep checking the defenses of everything he owns. Because there will be... There will be a weak spot. It's not there, though. Holy crap. He has a dragon turtle? Where did you get a dragon turtle? I'm the guy with the dragon turtles. Who, where was... It was at that one city that turned over to his side. Was it a lizard man city? And where is it? Where is it? Where is this other city where you're getting the... Whoops. I may have... Should not have moved that dragon turtle there. Uh, but anyways. Where, where is this... Where is this extra city? I... Oh... Oh, look at this Clackon City on the hill. Okay. This is like the one of the last cities you got. Alright, we found one. It is still impressing me to no end how he's able to maintain all of this. Okay, whoops. Okay, I guess I had him on some sort of orders to continuously move. Storm Giant's still coming along. I guess I should start developing my skill some. It's one of those long-term things you can do. Okay, power up my skill. I want to get more skillful. Okay, make sure... Yeah, research is all the way to the bottom. It's like every single last... Okay, there we go. Light that up. There we go. Okay, now I'll be developing my skill. So that I can throw more mana than things when I need them. Or, for example, if an enemy has this, like, stone skin and I want to, like, phantom warriors. 
some fools for having the audacity to come at me with stone skin halberdiers. Oh yes, your skin is made of stone. Much like my sh my my turtle shell is hard as well. But my my Phantom Warriors can stab straight through that crap. Don't come at me with that stuff. Okay, now putting me in a web forever is kind of annoying because I don't get any more turns. But uh, Merlin had more mana that time than I. How how does how does Merlin have so much mana suddenly? Hey Merlin, how do you have so much mana? I didn't mean to click on you actually, but how do you how the hell? How the hell are you doing this? I genuinely want to know. Like, can nodes possibly produce this much? Because you are fielding a crap load of basilisks. Like, he's got some nodes. Not this one, mind you, because it's like... Doesn't have the sparklies, by the way. But he has the other ones. He's got some others. Hmm, two triremes. Let's not bother with the boats. Okay, and Fang... Hmm... Fang and these Nagas versus those Halberdiers. Oh, Fang is still hurting, though. Fang is still hurting. Like, we could use more... We could use more Phantom Warriors to win this, but what if what if Merlin hits him with, like, an Ice Ball? Oh, wait. Hang on. Can you? No, you've got no mana left. You can't. Okay, so it'll just be the Nagas and the Phantom Warriors versus these Halberdiers that are behind defensive walls, sadly. We're probably going to need all the Phantom Warriors we can get, and we might have to flee and attack him a second time. Let's get all our Phantom Warriors nice and organized, and then we'll move in all at once with all our Phantom Warriors. That way, maybe we can infiltrate the city. And of course, Fang can always get over the walls. He just naturally can. If I move this Naga here, can they attack out the door diagonally? They might be able to. I don't want to chance it. Okay. Uh. Alright. Everyone! Move forward! Phantom Warriors, march! And then Fang will just be waiting in the wings. They didn't attack us. Let's see if we can get inside. That didn't go to plan. That didn't go to plan. That was better. Get inside the walls! Now we're fighting over the walls again. Nope, this isn't going well. Flee! Run for your lives! Hooray, at least everyone got away. We can survive to summon Phantom Warriors another day. And technically, that's what we can do to these basilisks. Just keep throwing, like, hordes of Phantom Warriors at it. It'll get a little expensive, but it it'll work. It'll get them. You throw enough Phantom Warriors at a problem, it'll be solved. It's like the Zap Brannigan strategy. Just let me throw enough of my phantom men at it and it'll... I'll solve that problem. Isn't that right, boys? You love me, don't you, boys? Yeah, just screw yourself. <laughs> the phantom warriors are, like, really unhappy with me, but they don't care. It doesn't matter. They don't, they don't get a vote. 
random warriors will do what they're told. Do we have a farmer's market here? Oh, so we do. Okay, so just get yourself a temple in uh, in preparation for being a large city, I, I should hope. just has so many troops it's it is really concerning especially because I, I still have two other wizards to deal with and they're gonna have an excessive amount of crap too it's like it's gonna be it's gonna be much worse when I deal with the other guys especially if one of them's in the Mirian realm just getting all powerful and junk this might not be very easy after all. Let's move around to this side. So we don't have to deal with those stag beetles. Just nothing but gorgons there. Always mess with these engineers, at least. Whoa, that ice bolt just took out my Nagas! How dare you! That must have been a powerful, like a really high powered ice bolt, like just charged up to full kind of thing. Or it was a particularly lucky bolt. There's always that possibility, too. Three turns for the Armorer's Guild. I'll save my money. Granary, good. Oh, I probably should build more settlers on that southern continent when I think about it. Also, this place is a Miner's Guild. Are you, are you mining anything? They don't appear to be mining anything. I should have got rid of this miner's guild quite a while back, actually, for the sake of profitability for this town. But, uh, I'm doing it now, at least. Guess I actually build a library. I don't usually build libraries very frequently in this game, either, but... This first time's for everything. This, this game is getting a lot more long-term than I'm used to. Just some giant spiders. How much mana do you have, old man? You don't have any. I will kill your giant spiders. Shouldn't be too hard for my dragon turtles. I want to spread out the damage as much as possible, though. Alright, nice. Nicely done. Aha! There's another village. Okay. You must not have any villages, Merlin. This is not allowed. Alright, we'll try to concentrate our forces over there. We'll keep those ants running away. Run! Run from the Nagas! Have we explored this one? We have not. Or is that one unoccupied? Didn't say it was... Unexplored. Huh. A little confused about that one, though. Alright, uh... I'm curious about this area. Move around there. Oh! Oh! I'm being attacked by boats! 
Well, this is a new one. Okay, so the triremes have a lot of attack, not a lot of defense. Very flammable. They don't shoot. I was thinking that they'd be shooters, but they don't, actually. There's different boats that shoot. Fortunately, Phantom Warriors can float over the ocean. Phantom Warriors over the ocean blue. Stone skin is not the recommended thing to do when you're fighting Phantom Warriors. Wow, the Phantom Warriors just sunk that boat. Sweet. Wait, Merlin just cast a lot of magic. Did he? I guess he got a lot of mana between the turns, yeah. But he probably used it all up now. Granary, cool. Get yourself a shrine to pacify those barbarians. Okay, so how much mana does old Merlin have now? Twenty frickin' four! I, I, like, are some of the basilisks gone anywhere? Like, maybe? Maybe some of the basilisks in his home are gone? Really? Really? He just keeps getting more and more, but he never loses any, even though I keep destroying everything he owns. Where is this... Where is this coming from? I feel like I'm, like, one of the villains in, like... Like, one of the Mega Man games. Like, there was that vile guy in that scene. Where is this energy coming from? How can you defy me, impossible? I was going to win, and now I am not. Frickin' he has a basilisk protecting this hamlet, too? Okay, okay, okay. He has two tiny little villages, maybe more somewhere hidden, and, and a node, but he's able to have a city full of basilisks, Basilisks at least had to have like five mana maintenance, probably like ten. So he's got nine here, another one there, uh, another another one on this this nature node. He's got another one on this tower. His maintenance must be freaking ginormous. Is my points. Like, good lord. Like, he's basically got Infinite Mana turned on. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on with this nonsense. How are you supposed to compete with this? Without striking his hurt, like, really early. Oh, nice. Yeah, I had. I had taken that. Okay, nice. So I melded with that. We're gonna get two more nodes, so that's cool. That'll help me compete with this, hopefully. Hopefully Storm Giants can help me compete with this. That's, that's like the only way. We're gonna have to have like a storm. We're gonna have to have a, like a storm battalion. A bunch of turtles and storm giants. And then throw phantom warriors at, at, at my problems. Huh. That is not what I expected. Ah, Rajak has cast awareness. Okay, so we know one of my enemies is Rajak, and he's probably in the Mirian world. Alright, we got a second town pumping out dragon turtles. Of course, you got a bit of a rebellion there. Maybe you get yourself a temple first. Alright, I think you guys can... Yeah, this many troops can take out that many halberdiers. Although, maybe I should have got that last Naga in here, because I forgot how two of these units are wounded. If I give them Phantom Warriors to help them. Or maybe I should have summoned the Phantom Beasts. Like, I tend to think that the Phantom Warriors are actually better than the Phantom Beasts, but... It's hard to say sometimes. That phantom beast is massive. But I kind of feel like the phantom warriors give you more bang for your buck. More blast for your mana crystal.
Though it's kind of surprising, because the, the Phantom Beast is like a higher-end spell. So it's like you'd think it'd be better. And I would argue for certain situations it is. Like, if the enemy has more, like, basic attack power or ranged or things like that. Or fire breathing or things. But it depends on the situation, like... Versus these typical kind of troops. The, uh... I'd say the Phantom Warriors are better than the Beast, but... I don't know, maybe I should be trying the Beast more. To be sure. We were inside, but... It was a phantom foothold, so it didn't last. Alright, now we got Nagas inside. Alright, beautiful. I want to try to take as few casualties as I can. Nice. Burn the city to the ground. Alright. Beautiful. Alright. The noose tightens ever more slowly. <laughs> more importantly, I just need to keep growing myself as I deal damage to my opponents. Because I have other uh, I have other opponents to destroy. And we're we're lighting up these nodes. This is working. Just not quite as fast as I would like, perhaps. Alright, another node is mine. Should I keep chasing these engineers? Keep chasing those engineers. Okay, Sprite, Sprite, Stag Beetle, Giant Spiders. I could, like, attack them and then throw phantom warriors at them again. The sprites would be very nasty, though. Like, I'll have to hold out till the sprites are out of ammo, then do the phantom warriors. Or just wait for the... the but the, the... the... The frickin' spiders are gonna web me and take away my turns. Ooh, that's a nasty combination. If I move in there, I'm probably just gonna die. Ah, that sucks. Okay. We need more troops to deal with that. That scroll had a lot of population growth written on it. Great. Glad to see it. Okay, library. Probably should get... Yeah, probably should do settlers here. The barbarians are great for populating and settling. Keep chasing those ants. Yeah, get, get Merlin to waste his man. Take that. Oh, and we got him this time. They got brave. Look at them. They shouldn't have done that. That was a poor decision. Now I could take this town with some efforts. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take this town with some effort. I do not want Merlin to have any other sources of income. I want to take all his sources of income, then destroy him. Of course, maybe I should have just plain destroyed him, like, just completely focused on his capital city, but... Now he certainly has less troops to go around to defend his capital city to, like, hamper my efforts. I mean, his capital city is still full, but, like, the other extra troops... There's less of that going on, at least. Farmer's Market! Yay! Alright, so... Give me a shrine, I guess. Yeah, you got some rebellion issues here. Do a little bit more work and give me a shrine. Just a lot of Nagas I have slithering around the world. Okay, so what I'd like to do is send in these Nagas. Just by their lonesome. Ah, now I have enough skill that I can cast Phantom Warriors, like, four times, did I say? Four times. 
within a particular encounter. That's cool. That'll be useful. Phantom Warriors defeat that bas- Oh, they didn't even- They didn't even hurt the Basilisk? Oh no, they did. They did hurt the Basilisk. They- They, they scratched him. They exactly scratched him. Now that's better. That's more than a scratch. I will accept this. I want to take this Basilisk down. This is an example of how much Phantom efforts it will take to take down a Basilisk. Quite a bit. It seems like that Basilisk is pretty good at stoning my... Ooh, they, the, uh, the Nagas did good. Alright, so we have taken down half of his health, is that half? The Basilisk is at half health. Decent! Alright, I think we can finish it off if I... Move these boys in? Now let's move these boys in. It'll be Risk and Fang, but I think... Once the Basilisk goes down... It all goes down. Oh yeah, that Basilisk is a critical. The Nagas did a number on him, yeah. Okay, come on, Phantom Warriors, you can do it. Nice. Two health. So let's see how easy it is for a... What? Oh, I forgot, because I didn't... I thought that Fang was safe because he was flying. But because Stone Gaze, he was able to look up and hit him with the Stoning Gaze. Oh no, Fang is a statue. Well, Fang, you scouted for us well. Dang, he was a good scout. I should have kept using him as a scout instead of a, a combat asset. I just wanted to get him some experience. And he got the experience of a lifetime when he died at the hands of a basilisk. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's how it goes. Fang, you will be missed. Press F to pay your respects for Fang. Whoops! Oh, the button was exactly under my cursor while I was clicking! That's not fair! That's not fair. I, uh, I didn't raise, I didn't burn that city to the ground. I kept it. Well, we might be able to defend this city. I hope we can defend it, because if not, we might lose a lot of money when, like, Merlin takes it back. Just in case, I'm going to turn convert a bunch of gold to power. In fact, I'm going to convert all my gold to power just in case that should happen. Plus, you know, I'm going to need the mana, so. All right. There's a stag needle there. I guess since we have a city to defend, should we... Should we go about defending it? Yeah, I guess let's get this... These... These... Naga in the way of that stag beetle. So what's defending this? Unexplored. A phantom beast. Just a phantom beast? Or multiple phantom beasts? I'm usually thinking like multiple phantom beasts. I'm not ready to deal with that noise right now. Totally focused on Merlin. Just engineers, you say? Ah, uh, just engineers with stone skin, you say? <laughs> I summon phantom warriors, and they flee. That's it, we're out of here. We don't want to deal with Phantom Warriors. It's mean because the Phantom Warriors get unsummoned then. You have discovered my weakness. Running away. So we're back to slowly, slowly scouting with our turtles. The good news though, the storm giant's just about here. Maybe I should put a little bit more power towards skill so I can start generating these a bit more quickly next time. Ooh, the stag beetle wants to play with my... with my nagas. You can, but there will be some... 
Phantom Warriors. To help. Uh, I don't think you understand the concept of Phantom Warriors. Stone skin will not help you. <laughs> wow, actually, uh, yeah, the stag wheel did really well thanks to his, probably his fire breath was just, fire breath and attack power. Okay, fine, more phantom warriors. Getting a little expensive, but hey, I can fund it. Okay, fine, use your, use your magic to get rid of mine. That works. Ah, okay. Stag Beetle's nearly dead. Hopefully the... Yeah! The Nagas could hack it. Good job, Nagas. Okay, spiders. And I'm wet. And I'm dead. Poor Nagas. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't ready to throw out the Phantom Warriors right away. So he still has sprites and stag beetles guarding that one. Ah, we got some we got some settlers. It's been a long time since I've dealt with this situation. Okay. So there's some gems there. That'd be cool to have for financial reasons, but I don't know what else is in that area. Generally you just don't want to go too far from home with your settlers so you can settle as quickly as possible. Let's go get the, get, go get those gems. I don't care. I don't know what else is in the area, but you go get those gems. Go for the money. All right, lots of rebellious clackons here, so let's get that shrine going here. Ah, yes, the storm giant is summons. Beautiful. All right, we got that very intimidating music. really take this in. Alright, so that is the Storm Giant ready to go. He will need a floating island and away he will flow to destroy Merlin. Godspeed, Storm Giant. Our hopes and dreams are with you. So we basically explored this whole world now. The whole of the arcane world. So I am absolutely sure it's just me and Merlin here. Just hanging out. Which means the Mirian world's gonna be really hard to deal with. But once we kill Merlin, our plane of existence will be safe. Which will be a very nice feeling. I guess I could send some halflings along with the giant. Hmm. So would slingers do very well against gorgons? I want to keep this city safe. Plus, it I like hold things up. All right, too late. But the floating island could do another run for some halflings afterwards, I guess. That'd be a thing. Could be a thing to do anyways. Wasn't there just some settlers here of the of of Merlins? Well, they can get away for now, I suppose.
pumping out more dragon turtles like crazy. Okay, so now, Naga's Storm Giant. I think I want to keep doing Storm Giants. Focus on quantity, quality over quantity now. We're gonna need it. We are gonna need the kind of quality that only Storm Giants can provide. I've been going around here patrolling for more of any of... Oh! Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Okay, look! Somebody has come through! Somebody came through the tower and they've got trolls! Trolls have arrived in the arcane world! From the Myrian world! That's how serious and the situation has become, how long I have been fighting with Merlin. Long enough for trolls to rise up through the portal. Okay, let's get more scouting information on Merlin here. Again, his home is 100% full of gorgons. Of basilisks, I mean. And that is a bunch of crap. Also, this city is going to be a city solely built for gems. Which is not gonna be a that's not gonna be a pleasant place to live, I'm afraid. Okay, should have expected this. Snag beetle and fairies are attacking. Okay, they got three ammo. Ooh. Oh, those shots are really hurting my Nagas. One more ammo. Cool, okay, they're out of ammo. Now I can summon Phantom Warriors. Now I have no choice but to let the, the sprites attack who they want. Alright, well at least the Phantom Warriors took out the sprites. Oh! It is, uh... It's our old friend Sarah. A blue raven. I send greetings to you and those who follow you. I desire a peaceful future between us. It's more like Sura, or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but he's got Grendel the Dwarf on his side. He's got Nature, Chaos, and Life books. Interesting combination today. And uh, he's already made peace with Merlin, which does not please me. And Merlin has a thousand dollars. How the fuck? How the fuck, Merlin? How do you keep doing this? Okay. How the actual F do you do this? I have no clue. He only has his capital city. Hmm. I'm kind of losing momentum here. I'm tempted on attacking. Uh, I'm tempted to attack. Sarah, take, take his, uh, take his trolls. Because if we can start getting trolls for troops, trolls were freaking amazing. In fact, maybe we should just shift gears and just fight Sra actually, and just leave. Maybe we should just leave Merlin alone with his little town full of basilisks. Or Gorgons. He's gonna take a while to recover. Oh, 
or as the Sarai guy is coming through the portal, we can take some of his troll cities. And if we can take some troll cities, then we can get some crazy troll troops and just abuse them because trolls were amazing. I mean, trolls are abusive. That's just, it's just, it's just the thing they are. It's what they do with their regeneration. So if we can get, if we can take trolls, we can get abusive regeneration. Then we can win the game, maybe? I really hope so, because this is going much, much longer than I expected. But uh, I guess this, now that I've got this new enemy introduced, I think think this is a good point to wrap things up and we'll find out what's gonna happen we got a new enemy we almost completely destroyed Merlin we got a brand new enemy uh, what that will lead to we'll find out next time on Master of Magic but thank you thank you very much for joining me this has been a lot of fun and is surprisingly extremely challenging uh, even though it's just on hard mode and not an impossible mode but when you don't have an overpowered strategy to rely on, uh, that's what happens. It shows how powerful a strategy can be. But anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and save it under... Trolls! For... Time for trolls! Alright, so next time I will capture... I will fight Sarah. I will capture some trolls, and I will then use them to take over the world, hopefully. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody!